All right, work's done. Everybody head home now. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey, Ricky, what's the big hurry? Got plans or something? Oh yes, I, I'm I'm going home to see my lovely wife and kids. So excited. All right, then get out of here. Ten minutes later. Kids, I'm home. Oh, hey, little Tommy. How's it going today? Oh, hello, Papa. Hello, Papa. I've had a wonderful day, Papa. I beat up that homeless man across the street and pulled off his arms like blades of grass, Papa. Oh, little Tommy, I told you about getting all rough in that roughhousing and playing. Oh, Papa, but I loved every second of it, Papa. Oh, you little rascal. Oh, hey, Dad. I was just watching TV all day. Oh, little Peter, you're watching TV? What? What is a TV? I'm, I'm confused. Oh, Dad. Huh? You never heard of a TV? No, no. Uh, I live in this house with you. Uh, Joe, what hey. is he talking about? I don't know, Dad. He's been, uh, he's been saying these weird things all day. A TV, a Pentagon. I mean, Peter, are you okay? Well, Dad, it's right there. Can't you see it? Yep, I. You know what, Peter? I see it right there. Joe, don't you see it too? Uh. Joe, I don't you see it too? I see a hay bale. You see the TV too, don't you, Joe? Uh, of, of course, Papa. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Whatever yeah. you say, Dad. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave you boys to it. Oh, little Jube, how are you? I'm <laughs> pretty good. Uh, oh, that was your first words. I, your mom's not even in here. I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I started talking to you, but did you have a good day today, Jube? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love you, Jube. <laughs> yeah. Papa, Papa. Oh, how I miss you so, Papa. Oh, hi, hyperactive Henry. How are you today? I'm doing terrific, Papa. But Tommy just ran around with a stick all day in the forest. Oh, he did? I, 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 were you guys having fun, I guess? Oh, we had tremendous fun, but he put his little bit of poo on the end, Papa. Oh, oh, poo. He, 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 I, I took over his stick and he smeared over my face, see? Oh, yeah, I definitely I definitely see that. You know, you know what, um, Henry, how about you go wash up? Where, where's your mom, by chance? She's she's in the kitchen cleaning off the poo poo I left everywhere. Oh, okay. Well, you, why don't you go upstairs and go ahead and get uh, cleaned up? I'll, I'll go speak to your mom. Okay, Papa. Oh, I love you. Honey, you in here? I sure am, sweetheart. Welcome home. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Is there anything I can help you with in here? No, no. I'm just finishing the dishes, hon. Don't worry. You go take a seat in the, the living room. You've had enough work for today. Oh, thank you, sugar booger. I'll be waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, such a long day. Ricky! Huh? What? Ricky! Hey, Ricky! My favorite cultist! What's up? Gar Garzara? Is that you? I, I can't see you. I, I can still see my kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're not in the full trance. Like I didn't bring you to my realm. Like I'm like this is like semi trance. Just you know, talking to you through the veil, if you, if you would. So uh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, what do you need, Garzara? Is is something wrong? Oh no, nothing's wrong. It's it's totally fine. Just uh, need a little bit of a favor from you. Uh, you, your wife and kids. You you guys. Uh, don't you have a couple kids and a wife, right? Yeah, yeah. If I remember correctly, you told me about them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm at home right now, Garzara. Is, uh, it's some, what do you need? What do you need? Um, so, there are some pretty bad dudes trying to summon another eldritch demon, and I don't need them to be able to do that. So, I kind of need you to take your wife and kids to the den of evil sacrifices and... Make them go in, if you, if you get what I mean. Um, uh, you need me to sacrifice my wife and kids? Yeah, 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 yeah. just, you have a couple kids and your wife, that, that should be enough. I'll be able to use that power from the sacrifice to just eradicate all those people, you know, boosh, like superpower, bah, you know, all that shit. Um, well, I don't, I'm sorry, Garzara, I don't. I don't really know if I can do that. 
It's, it's my wife and my kids. I, I mean, I love them. Oh, my bad. Totally forgot about that. You know, the whole morality complex behind all that. Um, actually, you don't have to do it. I could do it for you. Uh, no, I mean, I'm, be, I'm being serious, Garzar. Can, is there no other way? Like, does it have to be my wife and kids? Can I, can I not find someone else? Please, I beg of you. Oh, Ricky. Rick man. Big Ricky. Buck. I don't really have time for this. Honey. 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 Huh? Huh? Oh, huh? Uh, are you okay? You were staring up into the void. Oh, yeah. Yes, dear. Yes, I'm. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um. Uh. Have Have you made dinner yet? Uh, no. Uh, gonna get ready to make it soon. Why? I. I Screw all that. I, how about this? Why don't you and the kids get dressed? Let's uh go out for dinner. Oh, you sure? Where do you want to go? Uh, there's this new place I heard of called Denny's. It will be the perfect place for us to try. Denny's? Well, alrighty, sweetie, if that's what you want. Kids! Everybody wash up and get ready. Daddy's taking us to Denny's for dinner. Prisoners of Gazar is an actual play mature D&D podcast. Our players, Dongle playing Amp, Grouchy Nuts playing Rowan, Tendler's playing Satch, Taylor playing Andy, and NPC playing Stumbo. I'm your DM, Taco King, and I want to preemptively apologize for what happens in this episode. I'm a dumbass. Without further ado, let's get into it. Brief summation: The hunter that uh, the hunter Aaron had been killed by the Griffin. Uh, you guys need to meet Raz. The goblins still need a woman, and that's where we are right now. So who's Raz again? Raz is the guy with the top head that uh, Satch and Rowan talked to last night. That they uh, that they talked to, and he wants to get rid of the Ring of Fire, and also Amp. Oh, actually, no. All you talked to Garzara. Except Amp, and he told you Raz is a, a follower, the... a cult member. Yeah. And he also yeah. offered you Raz's wife for the goblins. Awesome! Uh, yes, sir. No, right, but what do you mean really awesome? Weird. You literally... Right, but we said no to it. Mi- yeah, I was going to say, for the last 30 minutes of the last po- fucking uh, session, you all we were all, literally like... We I all grew really a conscience. Wanna... Yeah, yeah. We, we all grew a conscience. Like, no, we can't. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh. Let me, no, 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 let me, no, 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 let me, no, 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 let me explain it. I didn't care so long as it wasn't the barkeep. No, okay, Dong, I'm talking about the people that talk to the Garzara. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking, as oh, that's long right. as it's Garzara. Dong, does it Okay, that, okay. That's the only... Look, I'm saying it's pretty fucked up, but I'm, I'm not against the main it. One, no, you were literally the main one that was like, I don't want to No, do no, 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 I'm not against it. I'm just, it's fucked up, you know. You were the guy that propagated the goblin r slash force breeding brigade. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> literally is. It is your fault, NPC. Yeah, because I wanted goblins to wear popular... Party, Party hats. hats. Okay. So anyways, where, what, in what order do we want to do... Or what, what is your first objective that you guys want to do? Let's resolve the Ray Park. Should yeah, probably go, go get... find this asshole. Yeah. I think right. we should get the give the asshole. woman to the goblins you... first. Wait, we we want to just you... go and get his wife and. Okay. I mean, okay, no, that's the fine. Gob... You the gotta meet are... anyway. The go... the goblins are closest to us. Uh, yeah, it's like two birds with one stone. Okay, you gotta meet Raz anyway. Yep, yep. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. All right, Great. so you all head out the tavern. And led by your lucky uh, constituent, Mr. Uh, Satch, who walked into Raz's house uh, unannounced <laughs> when he first met him, uh, you all come up to his, uh, go back to the center shopping center, and you see the two people doing, the crowd's gathered around again, they're arm wrestling, people are peddling wares, and you come upon Raz's house, and it's the same thing. It's just a random house. No lights on. Or there's, you know, no lights on that you can see. Yes, no sign or anything. 
How do you approach it? Can you just say we have no time? Mm -hmm. I no, really I'm just one. I wouldn't say I waited for ten layers. Well, I just walk inside. Can I? Not again. He knocks politely on the door. Yes, they, <laughs> that's or on the side. That's what I was looking for. It's left. If it's still left open, you guys knock on the door, and um, after a like minute or two, you start to now hear the footsteps of people walking up, and the door opens up, and there is a woman with long brown hair standing there and she's got her eyes are really red and puffy and uh almost looks like she's been crying and she's like can it can i help you what's sorry, up sorry man yeah sorry to bother you man but oh my god what's wrong raz's wife yes have have you talked to him why is he crying no not recently <laughs> however it uh do you mind if we step inside real quick we got some sensitive business to discuss crying eyes and ears and all that uh, and she like leans her head out and she looks around and she's like, can I, can I see your wrists? Sure. So does everybody um, show the wrists? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I doubt you would have any reason to protest. You all show your wrists and you have nothing on there. And she goes, okay, come, come inside. As uh, she lets you in and it comes into the, the living room that Satch walked into in the very first visit of this town and is two couches, a, a recliner chair, and she sits down in the recliner and she's like, so, uh, make, make yourself at home, wherever you guys want to sit, it's fine. Uh, so, what, well, um, so you got, you said there's something sensitive to talk about? Yes, and, uh, just to gain a little bit of the confidence, I'm going to show you this piece of paper here, and I'm going to talk about it. Take out uh, that piece of paper, the laminated piece of paper. laminated from Mark the of Garzara. Yeah, from the goop, since I'm a fucking pot, yeah. Yeah, so she, uh, she looks at your paper, she's like, okay. She's like, so you're, you're part of his, his, uh, group. Um, yes. Where is he? So, we gotta plan to track him down, we're gonna be after him. In the meantime, <laughs> we got a missive from Garzara. Uh huh. And he's got an assignment for you. Okay, but and, uh, uh, does it relate to where Raz is? Well, well hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Before before we get into what Garzara said, um, which one of you talked to Raz last? Uh, that'd be, be me. me and Dan. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Oh fuck. Te That'd be know. me, technically, wouldn't it, Taco? Uh, <laughs> yes and no. It would technically be Grouchy and Tin. She looks to Rowan and Satch. Where Where did he say he was going? I'm going to uh, chime in and say, up your button around the corner. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see on the back of the fucking head. And say, don't mind my associate. He's just a little odd, ma'am. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah, after so, his mother yeah, didn't teach him any fucking So, yeah, you guys saw Raz... Yeah, after we talked, he never to... came home. Yeah, he never came home. That that's that's Wait, fuck. that's what I'm okay. telling you. He never came yeah. home. So something must have happened to him. All right, I look back towards the others. Do y'all know what happened? I I I feel like I do. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I do. Okay, what do you need me to do to help find him? Uh, we can don't we need ask... you to help find ask... him. Ask Shut the fuck the up. God? I'm just saying, can we ask that little the, the demigod? Do you want to go ask Garzara? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to just stop and ask Garzara for everything? No, wait a minute. He doesn't, he Hold up. Like, wait, Taco, you know, peep the roll. I forgot. We'll like roll every session. It's a 62. Hi. Fuck! She's like, okay. Well, you don't need me to help find Braz? Not wait. particularly. I probably know where he's gone. Uh. Okay. No. Uh. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the bar. You all finish up here. Uh, as uh, you say that, a little uh, a uh, child runs into the room. Mommy, where's Daddy? <laughs> and she looks down. And she's like, Daddy is with some friends right now, and these are Daddy's other friends. They'll up come. your button around the corner. And the kid starts I immediately snickering. I pull NPC into the jar. He's going into the jar for the time. No, no, don't put me in the jar. Don't put me in the jar. You're going strength. into the jar if you do this shit one more time. Okay, okay, I will do it one <laughs> more time. Put you in the jar. I won't, I won't, You're I go going to the jar if you say it one more time. <laughs> 
so uh, on the chat. And, so Jesus so Christ, she, what happened? She he he was breaking his mic for fun. Uh, so she turns uh, to the child. And she's like, "Go in there. I'm trying to figure out where Daddy is. We'll 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 get him back. These guys are good people." The little kid looks to you, NPC, oh, and he's like, "Tell me a joke." All right. So there was once a famous, you know, the first comedian that was a woman, and uh, you want to know what her most famous line is? Yeah. This is a child NPC. And you're in front of her mother, his mother. This is a child NPC. Fuck it, go for it. You know what I told you? You know what I told you? Send it. Her most famous line was uh, when she was doing a stand-up comedy bit. And she was saying, I really don't understand why all these people are laughing at me. I'm trying to bring up sensitive topics like women's rights and equal pay. And they just keep <laughs> laughing. The kid looks at you puzzled. The child puzzled, doesn't get that it's a he, child. Yeah, the child looks at you and he goes, that wasn't funny. And he runs out of the room. And uh, she's like, I ignore him. I, I didn't understand your joke either, but I'm pretty sure it had some deeper <laughs> meaning to it. NPC. I could have done a Family Guy joke. NPC, on the NPC, oh, NPC, what you should have done is you should have said, I want to interject right in the middle of him speaking and I just want to fucking stare at him. I want to <laughs> lean in to stare at him. <laughs> I was waiting for you to flash bring the kid. You keep trying to flash <laughs> everybody. To. I kind of wanted to. You keep trying to but then Taylor would have put me in the pot. Yeah, you would have went straight to the job. I had to, I had to so, keep it clean. So yeah, so uh, Maria, or Mer... Yeah, Maria. I think her name was Maria or Marie. Hold on. Got to remember. All right, okay, it's, yeah, it's Marie. Uh, Marie says, okay, so, okay, if you don't need me to help, we'll, we'll be here. Are we safe? Are we, like, under attack? Is, is that what's happening? You should go seek companionship with someone who you think would uh, help you, but we think you're fine for now. No, I'm you're good. gonna be fine. You're not. None of none of y'all are under attack. It's what was all I say? Good. We could go to the, the 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 shelter downstairs, and like just hold up there. Nobody could get in it, from the outside at least. Okay. How about this? Should um, be fine without that. So no. if push comes to shove, sure, go down there. But nothing, nothing's really on the horizon. Yes, yeah, so how, like how about this? We'll go find uh, your husband. Uh huh. And in the meantime, uh. We'll have like a special knock. How about that? We have like a special knock to indicate that we're back. Okay, Ken, we can literally knock on the door and like she she recognizes us, but oh, okay. Are I you mean, sure? I, I like I, I could just look through the peephole. I did have the peephole. Yeah. Okay, do, do, do that then. Yeah. I'm still going to do a special fucking knock. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> if it's, yeah, lock yourselves in. Okay, we'll we'll stay here. I don't know. She, she kind of like, she's like a, a my... A, our house is your house. Just don't destroy anything. And uh, Junior, in the middle of the don't tell Junior that uh, something's wrong with Raz. I don't want him freaking out. So she she walks into the uh, kitchen area, and just you hear her start cooking up food. So now you guys have the living room to yourself, and time to discuss a plan of action. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna. I gotta. Uh... But Taylor will put me in the pot. You're already in the pot, NPC. I'm not in the pot yet. He's not in the know. pot yet. He's gotten threat threatened a couple he's th times. He's threatened to put me in the pot. So, uh, Taco, yeah. I'll DM it to you. Sure. So in the meantime, we're, we're going to go find that guy, right? Yeah. We? What do, you, what do you mean? I don't know. Are you going to be able to remember where we're going this time? The blood trail, right? It's... It, Probably still there, but dried up. I'm surprised you even remember that part. And that what was do you mean? Minutes ago. <laughs> you said you followed it up to a certain point where until you couldn't see it in the dark. Yeah, I know. I'm making fun of your inability NPC. to remember and pay oh, attention. My fucking... NPC, roll performance check, and we'll or we'll see. I have an extra bit prepared if Taylor is gonna like it. You know. <laughs> well, saying. fucking, well, you know, just don't it, get it caught. Is, it is what it is. So, it's uh, so uh, NPC, right? Don't fuck with her. She's already going to have some horrible shit done to her. Roll okay? the performance check if you want to go with it. <laughs> Twenty-two. Oh boy! All right, so you guys leave the house. So how do you leave the house? Front front door, or do you guys go through the back door? 
All right. Before I leave, I want to I want to do a little bit of talking to her, right? Yeah, maybe she she walked in. Or actually, let's roll rewind the tape a little bit. Um, she hasn't left the room yet. Go ahead. Okay. So I'm just gonna say, like, hey, you know, even though Garzara's got that little bit of an assignment for you, we're gonna go find your husband. We're gonna go get a hold of him. And then you can go hop on that assignment when you got a clear mind on this. Yes, of course. I mean, if I left right now, who would take care of Junior? Like, oh. that's that's why we need. Oh man. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do do I need to prepare prepare anything for this assignment since I can't help with Raz? No, not in particular. Unless you just want to pack a, I don't know, a couple of changes of clothes and some food. So, everybody give me your perception roll. Everyone? Yep. Everybody. Uh, fuck, I forgot. There we go. Okay. Right, hold on. So it is... Mine is a... Wow. Ah. Flat. Mine's just flat eight. Mine's a 19. Mine's flat six. Mine is a 15. No, mine's... Your passive wisdom is... If no. you roll below it, right? Uh, so, uh, that is also something I've been getting wrong. Uh, so, your passive wisdom is just what you notice in the room, but when you're trying to perceive something that just wasn't there or is happening, um, that's why you do the roll. So, oh, okay. So take 19 it, for me. So, you, you wouldn't I, notice this, basically. So, wait, 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 okay. so are, you, are you already taking into account our passive wisdom whenever we go into somewhere? Yes. <sighs> okay. That's why I have your passive ri wisdom written down. Okay. Oh, really? What's mine? Uh, do I got to pull your sheet up to really do that? <laughs> it's nine. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, uh, and I, I think Satch, you got a twenty. Okay, so twenty. I got a nineteen, so, twenty, and a fifteen. No. The you guys are the ones that hear it. <clears throat> so, all three of you hear as you're uh, saying like what you need. Or from her, uh, Andy, you hear a right or a loud thump. I forgot my mic doesn't pick up a lot of sounds. You hear a loud thump on the front door, almost like something hit it. Um, and she she leans around and she's like, "Was that a knock? Did I just hear someone knock?" I assume so. Yeah, it it certainly like sounded it. like it. Funny as shit, I run towards the door and kick it down. Okay, and you run to the door and kick it open. Uh, the door pulls inward, so you give me a strength <laughs> give me a strength roll because doors are supposed to pull inward, not outward. It's a real shame I didn't realize that strength roll. That would be. Pay I hope you hurt your fucking ankle right here. Ouch. Oh yeah, yeah. You you kick, uh, go ahead and take a d6 of damage. Ouch. So you run up and try kicking the door outward. Ow. You take max damage, takes full six oh damage. Oh my god. So, uh, you run up and kick the door and roll your ankle really fucking bad on it. <laughs> your little moth ankle. Uh, and then she's like, the, the, you, you pull the door. You, you pull it open. So, all of you, I, I'm just going to assume somebody pulls the door open. Door opens and there's a brick on the ground and it looks like it has writing on it. Well, let's fucking read it then. <laughs> so on the brick itself, it's a, uh, it's pretty scribbled, but it's legible. It says, "Meet in back alley this afternoon with three hundred gold, or else." Not fucking sketchy at all. You know what we're doing. Uh, and if you flip the brick around, by the way, it says, "By the way, we have Ras." Oh, gotta go that get was it. Easy. And then if you flip it, like, one more time, like, on its side, it said we didn't have enough room to write it on the front. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you flip it to the left, it says bye. Okay, so they're nice. Wait, hold up. Here. I want to roll no, no, no. investigation to make sure that's the uh, last thing it says. Uh, so if you flip it, or you ain't got to roll that. If you flip it <laughs> to the uh, two times to the right to see the other end of piece, it says hi. Wow, they really fucking throw. They really threw this wrong to get us on the wrong side of it first. What a bunch of dumbasses! <laughs> I imagine they had to. It had to land on the long side. Stand what, what, a bunch of, what a bunch of fucking like, idiots! I can't throw for shit. I'm imagining like little blue dwarfs that are control of this. Smurfs. What are yeah, you talking Smurfs. about? 
Yes, I just that's what I'm picturing. I'm you ever seen little, you ever little seen little. that show on Netflix called Disenchanted? That's what I'm picturing, no. like a bunch of little no. smurfs. What? Oh wait, yeah, that's disenchantment. Stupid. This is Chandler. Yeah, that's Those what I'm elves. picturing. Those are elves. Oh, elves. Okay, yeah, this is something that Elfo would do. It's giving me that vibe, bro. Dude, reference to media, pog neck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyways, uh, so. You guys now have uh, the lay of the land. How you want to do this? You can wait till nightfall. You go try investigating. So we're killing. Uh, them, right? Also, also, uh, she she says, "What what does the brick say? Is that something about Raz?" Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go prepare the things you guys told me. Please make sure he gets back alive. Absolutely. Don't worry. We can certainly try. All right. So. Um, yeah, how do you guys want to go about this? So we're killing them, right? Mm, we'll see. It depends. I mean, I don't think all of us collectively have 300 gold. So uh, yes, yeah, well, yes, 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 yes. Do we? Do we? If we... I'm rich. Yeah, fucking Taylor has at least 140. NPC has at least, I would say, 70 or 80. I have 50. We, if we all pulled together, we could afford it. Okay. However, we're not going to do that. Yeah, we're going to kill... So, how are you guys going to go about this? So, this is medicine and Al. Is it like a... The, so, you, you, so, what... Never. What... I, I'm... <laughs> this is also, like, the problem with writing on a brick. You can't really be descriptive. Uh, I would imagine... Or, the alley that they kick the shit out of him. Yeah. That, that's what I'm, I'm going to... That's... that. Yes. That. The two people who saw Raz get the shit kicked out of him. That's yeah. the alley they're referring to. And that actually connects yeah. to in Dongle, if you guys remember, uh, Amp actually met Sponge Monkeys down that alley uh, a little bit further and found the part like where Raz's house was. So that alley connects down to the tavern. That makes sense. So it could be anywhere on the alley, but you guys have the lay of land. In fact, here we'll jump. If you guys are, are we going to the alley? Is that where we're kind of getting? Sure. Well, we, uh, do we have to go there now? No. Oh, it's at well, night, right? Yeah, you don't have to go there now. You can choose what you guys want to do. Well, I think I should uh, heal my broken ankle. Fucking so come you here, want to dumbass. Take eight hours to heal? Oh, no, I did. can fucking I can fix his leg up. Ten, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, how long will it take? Next time to... you break your next time you break your damn leg, I'm not fixing it. No, no, no okay. So I took a D6 there, damage. There you for... go. Your leg's better. Your leg's better. Okay, so okay, yeah, my... I'm at how much would I heal? I, ho- I heal ten. I heal ten okay, at uh, ten. Yes, yeah, so your, your leg's fine. Chaka, Chuck, you said the it was a D six hit dice. Yep, you rolled a. Uh, wait, 30, your hit okay. dice? Well, the the dice that allows me to take damage is that isn't that the it, hit dice? It, it was a D six that you took. You took a D six of damage. Yeah, then. it's not a hit dice. You just took oh. a D six of okay. damage. Okay. okay. What were you trying to get at? No, because I'm trying to like understand like what the hit dice is. Hit, hit dice, dice is you, hit dice uh, is used for certain actions. For instance, healing surge is an ability you can do in combat. Yep. What determines the what damage you take then? Uh, me. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Also, don't <laughs> also don't use your hit dice. I have abilities for that. Okay. So, uh, so how do you guys want to go? Where are we going? What are we doing? Well. Hold on, so... Going the, back to that alley. Yeah, what, what's the... Str- yeah, we're gonna go investigate, right? Before I... Alright. So we're going to the alley? Yeah. Yep, we're going. Anyways, so <laughs> the alley is to... Or the alley where they saw him get beat up is right there. Where you guys are. Left side of the map. Oh, that's that alley. Okay, there's a dead end alley. Well, the tavern's right there. So, like, you can... You could walk in between those buildings right there and get to the front side of the tavern. And the the open street where I walked into his house is is the bottom road right here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And the alley where we're supposed to meet is the top road. No, it's no. so Raz's. You you met. Uh, well, that's the thing. It's being implied that it's the back road right there behind Raz's house. Oh, Do you see Raz's house? Yeah. Okay. So that alley. So I imagine you guys are going back there to investigate. 
Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say thank you for the like enthusiasm, you fuck faces. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah, yeah. let's go to Roz's house. Yay. Among us. Yeah. All right, so yeah, so you guys head out to the backside of where uh, Raz was seen being beat up by a group of men, and you guys see there is blood still on the ground Elf. and is dried. Elfo and his gangbang fucking beat Roz up. No, it was the tall, bald man with the mustache that Taylor... Oh, the biker with. dude. I Yeah, that's, I guess that's a good way to describe it. Yeah, yeah whatever. We'll go with that. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, that's pretty much where he got uh, beat up. And as you guys come out there, there's some blood on the ground where you obviously saw him. You guys can give me investigation rolls. You can tell me your plan from here. What, what you... uh, can I do an investigation roll, see if they left any clues, or like if Roz's teeth are on the ground or some shit like that? Well, there's already blood in the puddle. You don't see no teeth in the blood, but you can do an investigation roll and go from there. Cool. And Dongle, give me the luck roll now. All right. Fucking, all right, I'm going to fucking... I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go low on this one. All right, low, I got an 18. We're gonna do a 45. I got an 18. Well, that's unfortunate. That's a fucking literally just dog shit. Wow, that's a nice. What is the luck roll thing? Dude? If you would have paid attention to the last part of the session, you would have understood. Because he succeeded, and it was a whole fucking bit. Yeah. So, uh, so an no funny bit. No funny bit for today, folks. Back no. it up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no funny bit for today. So, with an 18, uh, you're able to now kind of pick up the dry blood as a trail. Uh, you keep following it down to where the street conjunctions there, because it goes back out to the main road, and then you can keep going straight and be to the back side of Raz's house. So, yeah, so, like, right here. Step, 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 step. <laughs> Fucking get, letting people draw stuff. So, once you get to the, um, the street, that's where I'm going to make you make me one more investigation roll. Everybody can make it, or only one. It doesn't matter. Why don't we all roll and whoever got the fucking highest gets it? Because I got a seven. Sure. Investigation. Oh, okay. So, you're on you the got? trail. That, that's why I'm doing this. Got to do better than two, guys. Is this uh, investigation? So I got and a six. We got a ten. I got an eight total. And I got a six. Anyway, talk up. I, I'm glad to see that my weather uh, weather forecast is accurate. You know, it's funny. My this is the same thing that happened at the end of last session. Dongle had the trail, and his second investigation roll just went to shit, so he lost the trail. Okay, so we're unable to follow it. Well, waiting for NPC. NPC. Oh. Hold on, you sorry. You can save the day. Come on, NPC. Roll. Okay, buddy. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. Mm. Go ahead, roll it. The Everybody's... worst you can do is crit. True. Well, the thirteen. I guess NPC. That's What'd it. you get? Nine. Nope. Nope. So as you guys get to the same the spot. The was a that... ten. Yeah. So, as you guys get to the same spot that Amp got to last night, um, it, the trail kind of stops, and you don't know if it goes straight or it goes back out to the main road. You guys see a couple shifty people sitting in the background, or just in the back alley. You guys can approach them, or we can now s figure a way to set wait. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they... Because I don't think there would be the same people that would like be in the, the alley at night. So I think the only other option, reliable option, would be to wait until the deal or the meetup. But that being said, uh, how high are the houses? Uh, so the houses are, some of them are two stories, some of them are one story. Is there, so, other feet, is there a feet measurement? Uh, feet Cause I measurement. Because I, I can like, fly. I want to see if I can fly on the roofs. Oh yeah, I forgot you. You can can't your your character can't fly. They can glide, but they can jump up and glide, right? Yeah. Well, so, wait, hold on. 
It says flying speed of 20 feet. And I can't wear uh, medium or heavy armor. Okay. I I, yeah, you can fly. Yeah, they're like... Uh, the houses are like... Some are 20 feet up, some are 12 feet up. Okay. So I want to see if I can just go on at the go on the roofs at night and like, in case right. we need to shoot them. So yeah, you want to get up on one of the houses. Well, I, I guess yeah, that's whatever you guys' plan of attack is. Okay. And you said the the alley where we're meeting them is uh, the middle. It's right behind Raz's, Raz's house. Oh yeah. Okay. So there. Okay. One of the other things. Works for me. Get on the roof, white boy. Chaco, take the M's. Wait, 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 are you going on the roof? <laughs> yeah, well, if we're gonna meet meet up with them now, or, like, fast forward to uh, the meet-up time. Okie dokie. Anyone else well, got I'm any complaints? I'm also gonna get on the roof. Unless we have enough time to do, like, other shit, like, it's uh... It's literally a, okay. morning. Well, it's I gotta ask around. this, I gotta ask okay, this. It's, it's Is morning, there an easy yeah. access to the roof? Uh, you could get up on the roofs, yeah. I mean, like, easy access. Like, are we talking, Easy like, access? It... No, not really. Uh, are you gonna make me do acrobatics yes. on it? How right. much do you weigh, well, NPC? I I am double proficient in acrobatics, ten. I know, I know that, but in, he in the case, he can fly. Can he just not bring you up? It depends on I your weight. Good, but I could be fucking awesome. Yeah, okay. but he's a mig, so like he's not gonna be able to actually lift. Okay, it. so I could do something cool with it, like a triple double backflip, and then kill okay. myself because I broke my neck. Okay, go ahead, do your acrobatics roll. Get up on the roof. Well, do we want to do it now or fucking? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing. You guys are trying Perfect. to get up on the roof right now. You haven't even discussed how you want to handle Just this. Just as how I wanted it to go. So you got Can a she... ten. Do I make it, Doc? So, uh, yeah, you make it up, upward, and then you fall into a garbage can. Yeah. So you have a garbage can hiding spot now. I'm big and stinky now. Okay. But it's it's, it's like morning, a, like you said, right? Yeah, you guys just got right up. Back. Okay, then... I don't know if there's anything else we can do before, so we can spend time... Like, I don't know. Literally we... doesn't matter to me. There's nothing I could do other than profession practicing. You think we can kill the, gr the griffin before uh, the meetup? Well, think about it. If the meetup goes sour, you'll be hurt from the griffin. But if the the griffin goes sour, then it's the other well, way. I mean, like, no, no, you're going to be fighting a griffin at level two. You're going to be hurt walking away from that. But unless we're fine. lucky. That's fine. Whatever you guys want to do. This is this is meta talk. Yeah, Grouchy being quiet. Anyone. I mean, if if, if, if okay, so if if, no, if just being just just listen. <laughs> well, don't you... fucking just listen. Chime <laughs> in. <laughs> we can kill uh, two birds with one stone, they say. If we go kill the griffin and uh, all goes and, well. Hmm? And killing the griffin at level two is not a good idea. No. Oh, it's a shame, ain't it? Yeah, remember last time we were talking about the griffin because we wanted to go after it, and they're like, actually, that's a good idea not to go because we don't, we don't, we're not high enough levels, and we'd get fucking murked. Well, what level would be reasonable enough to get it? Let me just say this. A griffin. Not, actually, you know what? You know what? Head, but you you know what? what? You guys <laughs> could handle a griffin, to be honest. We totally could, yeah. You could. I'm looking the at the stats right now. You guys just heal us after it, and we'd be fine. I could. However, we're do something stupid again. However, you're also <laughs> going to have to set a way to get the griffin to come down. You can't just go walk out and be like, "Ha ha, griffin!" Like you're going to have to fucking track this fucker. It's a whole ordeal. We gotta, we gotta find it. Yeah, of course we gotta go find it. Well, the hunter that was trying to kill it is dead. We can't ask him. Can we ask any other people? At, like, was it a guild house? I mean, we literally, go, go. we literally got the general location for it. We uh, just have to make it show up. Ten. Okay. Move. So, how are we gonna do that? <laughs> I mean, if we got the general location, wouldn't, wouldn't its nest be there? If a resting spot? 
We or the sighting. Fucking. You know, it would just be way easier if we went out with like a bunch of meat and then we just fucking throw it out there in the middle of fuck all nowhere. Could. Hmm. Griffith's like stinky stuff. You could coat a meat carcass in like really foul smelling stuff. It would, the griffin would sense it six miles away. That guy mm -hmm. in the in the alleyway that's been listening to you guys talk the whole time just kind of yeah. like pipes up. I'm not. I thought, we're, I, thought we're, I thought we're meta talking. Uh, I'm I'm just now it's getting boring, so I'm just oh, fucking okay. taking yeah. over talking for real. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking waiting for the other three assholes to chime in. What NPC about this? Say? Say? What do you want to say? Man, fuck this NPC. What do you mean? I've already said my piece. You also get rotten meat, and or not rotten, fucking whatever is like can get the smell like far enough for the griffin to, to attract the griffin. Let's Your get mother. some meat. If you, oh. And I, I'm just gonna throw you a bone here. If you really need some like advice on the griffin, you know the hunter guy wasn't the only guy that's going to attack, like fight it. You could yeah, probably so, talk yeah. to the guards and see if they've seen it. Yeah, that's why I mentioned we should go ask the people at the was it the guild's house. Oh, right, the barracks. Do it. Talking about the, the guards. The, the bear, yeah, so we could go ask them. Hey, you could. You could. Let, now let's go ask them. <clears throat> okay. Sure. Um, yeah. So, yeah. You guys make your way to the guard barracks. And just like before, it's um, you step into a small room. And there's a lady looking down, writing something on a piece of paper. And she looks up. She looks down at her paper and she looks up at you guys and she looks back down and she writes some more stuff and she looks up. She sighs and she goes, can I help you? Yeah, can we talk to the, the party that's supposed to deal with the griffin? She sighs yeah. really hard and she looks back down at her paper and like she pulls a lever and a, a bell dings. And you hear someone uh, start tomping up and you see a guard come in and he's like, uh, yeah, you called? Uh, yeah, they, they like, are looking for the griffin or something. I don't know. The guard looks to you guys, and he looks a little frustrated. Uh, he recognizes all of you as well because you talked to him before. He's like, can, can we step outside? It's kind of cramped in here. Yeah. Yeah, so you all step outside, nice. and he's like, uh, so, uh, how, uh, you guys come back with, the uh, uh, report the goblins? I don't, I don't see he knows this. No. Oh, uh, you didn't get the, you didn't find the goblins. You didn't kill the goblins or something. No, we're following a we're following a different thread right now. Oh, it's something okay. of a more pressing matter because those goblins. I mean, they're going to be out there. Uh, I mean, they're goblins. They can't really get up to too much in the couple of days it's going to take us to get back to them. Okay. Uh, okay. but yeah, no, it's neither here nor there. We're here about the griffin. You got any tips as to where it would be at or? Oh yeah, if yeah. So yeah. anything I that forgot. can blow it out. Yeah, Eric Eric got killed. Oh man. That really sucks because he was the one that was tracking all that. We have an idea of where it is. Uh some of my scouts have reported that's in the north. Uh a little bit north of do, you, do you, have you guys um met the Master Smiths, the three dwarves up there? No. Okay. no. It's up near them somewhere. Uh like that's that's where it was reported last. You know, griffins, from my knowledge, as a soldier, it they like having their nests in, like, rocky canyons or so. So it might have a nest somewhere up. Because north kind of, like, crests on the hill where the mountains start. Yeah. North of the town, because that that's where they created their forge. It's outside of town. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's where the griffin has last been seen. Since, uh... Okay. I mean, Eric died like died last night. We just reported it this morning, but we found his carcass north of their uh, forge, basically. All right, works for us. So yeah, but yeah, uh, you guys have any more questions? <laughs> I don't think I do. I mean, if okay, so if we deal with the Griffin, then uh, what? Is there like a reward for this? Yeah, yes. I mean, it, it, there's a, it's on the notice board. Okay. The hunter was just, it was like our he wanted help with it and he was paying out, 
but it was more like we were paying like through him, you know, because the town the town's paying for like the bounty on the Griffin. It keeps killing people, you know. Okay. So I mean, is, is there is there a total right now, or what? What I want to go check the paper when it says. I, I could just tell you it's 150 gold. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh. I mean, yeah, it's we'll a Griffin. It's done killed a couple people. So, you know, you know. How about this? If you guys can, are you guys going after the Griffin? Is that why you're asking me? That, like you're trying to go after it? Yes. Do you no. think you'll get the Griffin today? Like. No, that's our goal. So yeah. Okay. If you could get it by the end of tomorrow, I'm gonna give you one day. I'll throw an extra fifty gold. If that's all for, because you didn't get the goblins, and I'm not saying that they're you know 100 percent you need to do this now, but. I mean, yeah, it's, I, it's not. It's not like we're we're ignoring it. I know, no, no, I know. Just th think of it from my position as the guard. If all these notice that we have for people, things we need handled, aren't getting handled, people start looking at the guard and they're like, "What the fuck are you guys doing?" And it's like we have a lot of shit going on in town already. So you know, like there's there's just tons of stuff we have to deal with. We have to, we have so many calls to just random parts of the town. Honestly, uh, man, yeah, that's why we started like. Offering gold to people who want to help. Yeah, we we understand that. So if you'll chip in fifty extra if we do it before the end of tomorrow. Yeah, if you could get yeah. the Griffin done by the end of tomorrow, um, they just bring me a talon, one of its talons. Yep. We'll do that. So. What I miss? We're gonna kill a Griffin and be. What happened to a fucking? It's uh, morning. Robert We're gonna kill it before the fucking before nighttime. Does so, anyone know how to attract a griffin? Well, the, if you'd listen, maybe we'd know. <laughs> <laughs> so while you guys were in the alleyway, it got so boring. I had an NPC, not the NPC right there, but a NPC uh, that sounded oddly like the witch, Geralt from The Witcher, go, hmm, griffins like smelly carcasses, meat. That's oh, I, like, I like Geralt. Well, it's not you Gerald. Know, it's, 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 we'd it's, have a smelly carcass if we went and go got that fucking uh, Rex or whatever fucks guy. And I'm like, who? He, I, don't, I don't think he's dead. What is his name again? It starts Raz? with R. Raz. Raz. He's Thank not you. an NPC. If they're, if they're meeting us in an alley, he's probably not dead. Yeah, I, it, it, Raz is so far at the clearly moment. You clearly, you haven't watched iRobot. Uh, clearly. All right, so um, how do you guys go about this? So d how how you go about this depends on how easily it's done and all that. Well, we either need fresh meat or a fresh carcass. Maybe we can ask the guard if y'all have fresh bodies. Okay, Ken, you weren't paying attention. The guard was okay, the hunter, right? He was killed. Yeah. By the griffin, we go retrieve his corpse, chunk that shit over to go lure the griffin. Ah, uh, yeah. So if we you use this by him. In the Griffin fucking like, oh sorry, I should well, probably have, I should have probably clarified that the guards found his body. They reclaimed his body. Okay. Oh damn! How much of it's yeah. left? Uh, is that something you're going to ask the guard? I mean, we can. I mean, ask you the can. Guard. We you go, can. We can. Go ahead, NPC. I mean, I'm thinking we ask you're the guard. You're tricking me here. You're tricking I'm me. I'm not. No, I'm not. You guys need to stop. You're like, making tricking decisions me. Off, like, what I Come on, NPC. So you fucking. Over. You're not gonna shoot for. Hey, how badly did that griffin fuck him up? The gr it, it's a griffin. It's a very large animal. It fucking it it mutilated his corpse. Uh, it's like it, a like it, it gourd is like a tiger like slashing your fucking so, abdomen. So how much of them is missing? So the griffin. Okay, um, I'm gonna act like you're asking this as the guard. So uh, you probably know know that he lost his arm the day before, and for some reason, instead of waiting for people, he went back out there with one arm. And uh, we found his torso. He was missing one leg, both of his arms. And he still had his head, but his um, it looked like it pecked out. Like he pecked him directly in the middle of the forehead, so his forehead is kind of caved in. Mm. Okay, yeah. it was qu did you, quite bloody. Did you already dispose of the body? We gave it. Well, we gave it to. Yeah, we we didn't dispose of it. We're like getting ready to, you know. Figure out how, what his family wants to do with, like, okay. Barrel. All right, cool. Hey, so it's the morning, right? This is a bustling city we're talking about. Yep. There's got to be a vendor that just sells meat. Yeah, so we should go find one. Really? Oh, yeah? I'm going to knock your ass out. Come on, let's go find meat. So, yeah. Um, 
Go find the meat vendor. Well, I was waiting for NPC to finish that. So, yeah, no. you guys got into the... He was doing her bone rip. Yeah, I thought he was too. It sounded like it. I'm not, I wasn't no, paying no. attention. I was not paying attention to what NPC was doing. I was so, drinking something gladly to fuck with 10. So, uh, you guys head off into the town to, um, you actually <laughs> head to the Fish Eye, um, where Dongle was yesterday. You know, the brown eye? No, the Fish Eye. Oh, wait, uh, Fish Meat. Can we use, does it like fish? Well, okay. Can't shut up! So, beside wait. the Fish Eye, there's a butcher shop, and then one more <laughs> shop down, there is a vegetable shop. Alright, I'm gonna go to the butcher shop. Okay. So, uh, you look and it says, the sign says meats. Uh, there is a very large burly man. Shot, what, he looks I'm like 100% he's... confident that this is a meat shop, right? Like, meat. Uh-huh. Not like... Stop you know. acting like I'm trying to fuck you over. I'm not doing a 10, I'm not, I'm not pulling a 10 letters. Alright, please continue. <laughs> I'm sorry you like men. So, you come up to the butcher and he says, Welcome, welcome. Well, what can I do for you? Alright. Um, do you have any raw meat? Like, not the, like, fuck. The, so the, he, stink, he the stinkiest you. meat you got. Oh, okay. He looks I've at, got a tumor. He looks at you. Do you have any raw meat? And he's like, Yeah, look all around you. Like, Oh, fuck. You got any rotten raw meat? Oh, okay, so you you need stinky? Yeah. Um, no. Nasty shit that you couldn't sell. I have a decaying pig carcass that nobody wanted to buy. It's like, you know, it's a full pig carcass? Sure. I mean... How much guys, is it? I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm not going to... You want to buy this? You're not going to eat this, are you? Fuck no! I, I, you see, you would... But it's just like you, I don't know. It feels okay, weird. Well, like you eat this, well, get sick. Well, and well, say, well, I get why, don't, why don't we tell? Nah. Why don't we tell them like our intention? None of that. None of that. We're uh, we're gonna we're going on a hunt, and we need yeah. bait. You know. Yeah, we plan to take down the griffin, but we need some of the attracted. So, do you, you think uh, you'd be able to lend us this uh, pig carcass? Yeah, actually, yeah. You you can take this. I was going to throw it out anyway. Um. So do not eat this. I, I believe you we guys, don't. but just please do not eat this. Well, thanks. I'm gonna uh, give him five gold for it. He, uh, <sighs> you hand him five gold and his fucking eyes light up and he's like, Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yep. So, Keep uh, the good work. Okay, so how, how are we gonna carry? Well, Alright. Fuck the carry. Pot man, put carrying. it in the pot. Carrying's easy. Okay. The, the carrying part's easy. You got you right. got Potman. Um, to be honest, you have two people that can easily carry this carcass, the pig's uh, carcass. Now the question is is, um, how what what's your, what's your plan? You know what I mean? Okay. I mean we're gonna leave the body out there and hope it attracts the griffin. But That's a stupid. Would it? Would there be a better way of like getting the smell Here's to like? Awesome epic idea. Okay. Like, well, if, like, if we. I want a little bit more creativity out of one of you, all of you, if not none of you. Just not. We throw the carcass out. Don't okay, so there, so let, let me let me ask. Like, you think if we Draw put fucking sunglasses on it, talk. <laughs> it's a fucking animal. Like, you put the fucking carcass out there, and the animal goes over there. Okay, yeah, like, okay. But what we is, don't okay. have Griffin pheromones on our fucking hands. You think it'll? You think the smell would perforate further if we? Like, had, like, a fire slightly cooking it. Box man, right? Box man. Do you think if we make the griffin horny? <laughs> yeah, I'm... I, I, fuck it. I actually like the idea of, like, what you mean there. Like, the fire thing. A bog fan. Yeah, so, there's a small... Just a small fire in there. Oh. It's just the goblins again. It's just the goblins V2. <laughs> Am I gonna fun, be... Funny as shit. Am I gonna be cooking rotten food in the middle of a fucking field? Yep. Funny, funny as shit, goblins smell it, come so, towards it, get rabbit no, by the no, they wouldn't. So my question is, um, when you guys head to the north side of town, you kind of see where the road veers off a little bit, heading towards like the mountainous part. Um, it does lead through a what looks to be forge, 
like a very large forge. And as you like walk up, you guys can walk through it or you can walk around it. I mean, that's the forge the guard mentioned, right? Where the yes. Door... Uh, I mean, they wouldn't mind. Are there? I, I think walk through it. They wouldn't mind if we passed through, right? Yeah. You just talk to them. Let's what about a big, stinky fucking pig carcass? I'd so, be pretty pissed if someone walked through my shit, too. So as you guys <laughs> walk up uh, up down the road, like, towards the area where Mr. Uh, Eric was killed, you run, walk through the forge, and you see three dwarves with this large red fire pit. And, I mean, it's it's a big old coal. One of them is operating a bellow that's blowing air and making it hot. One is... Uh, like smithing on a hammer, <clears throat> smithing on a hammer, and the other is like throwing, uh, like shoveling coal inside the fire pit. And they stop their work, and one or the one with the bellow turns around and looks at you. He's like, "Oi, what's your business?" Do you want to say hear. that non-retarded way? I didn't hear anything you just said. We're here to kill the griffin. Laugh for ten, laugh for ten, everybody. <laughs> so they look look to each other and they're like, "You lot, you're gonna kill the griffin." I mean, yeah. are you gonna do it? No, <laughs> we Smith. Why would we kill a griffin? And then, like the the one on the right, like chimes in. He's like, "Well, actually, I can I can kill." I, I mean, back in my day, I killed a griffin. You I couldn't do shit! So, he looks to you, somebody, and he's like, Oh. Funny guy, huh? I could. I could kill the griffin right now if I wanted to. But really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Then do it. Come yeah. with us. Yeah. Why would I? You, you big man tough talk. Big man tough talk. Big man tough talk, dumb dumb idiot. Can't so do he starts stepping towards you, NPC, and he's like, "Do you want to see a big man tough, tough dog?" Big man tough, tough dog. Big man can't kill Griffin. Right. You come with kill Griffin. Okay. All right. Give me one second. Pulling something up. I didn't think I'd actually have to pull this up. But okay. Are we doing combat with him? No. 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 Is he about to fucking sock me? Maybe. Uh, he might. Well, so. He might. If he does, he's getting flash banged. Okay. I'm gonna try. <laughs> but uh. You probably don't know about Of course you'd love to flashbang the fucking big burly man. No, no, these are dwarves. There are three dwarves. So this dwarf starts walking up, and you can see he's fucking chiseled from years of blacksmith work. He's got a couple scars, and uh, he steps right to you, and he's like, You want to say that again, clown boy? Yeah. <laughs> big guy's hunting up to talk. You go kill Griffin with us. That's can I, not can exactly I... how you said it. So, NPC... He mm -hmm. immediately clocks you right in the fucking leg, and you take four damage. Oh! With, with a hammer. That's quite rude. So you you buckle down, and he's You're like, being "All right." A fucking asshole, but you know. And he's like, "Do you got something else you want to say, big boy?" All right. Well, uh, since I'm doing this, I have a question about how dissonant whispers works. Can I like make the whispers a certain voice? Yeah. All right. Well, um, do I know if this guy has, like, an axe or something? Like, He's got does, is he one of the, is he, is he the type that has, like, a tattoo of his ex's name on his shoulder? Uh, no, he you knows. He's not. I feel like you're better off just flashbanging him. I could just flashbang him. Uh, fuck it, I'm just gonna cast Destinant Whispers, and, okay. uh, to cast it, I'm going to whisper, uh, Big man, tough, tough talk. Must be compensating for a small penis. Alright. So that is a 21. What is your DC? Uh. What's my DC? For him to say. 16. You... Okay. Yeah. He. Oh, you start whispering at him, and he. Like. He can clearly see you whispering, and he's like. You got some really big balls to keep fucking trying this. And the other two are now starting to step towards you. And mm -hmm. he's like, you can fuck off since you got a problem, or I can give you another one of these. All right, how close are they? Uh, that one's five feet from you. The other, uh, like, ten feet from you. Ten feet, so they're close, all right? Yes. 
You are really going for this, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, no, yeah. Keep going. Flash bang. Right, Flash bang. You can try. Radiant smile. Okay. I, I feel like we make? should enter. I think we should in, interject at some point. Yeah, he's got to make a roll for something. No, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna didn't watch. We, didn't <laughs> we decide on something? Yeah, he's got to make a Rachel. constitution roll of some sort. Yeah. Fuck! I didn't write it down. Oh wow! It's Under almost sheet. like you should fucking write. But dude, I would... NPC can't write. He's from the fucking Carolinas. He doesn't know how to. He's retarded. True. Uh, emits bright light within twenty feet of yourself and twenty feet of dim light after that. Okay. In all direction. We and yeah, uh, what we said. It counts it's... as like a daylight. It's anything in front of me. Think of it like a cone. Yeah, no, I know. Let, let's just set it for a constitution saving throw. Because yeah. blinding someone, you're going to... Okay, so... Do you want to take my spell DC? Spell save yeah, DC or something like that? State, you know, let's do that. Alright, my spell save DC is 13. So they have to be at a 13 on. Okay, they got a 16. <laughs> Did they? Yeah, they're a little... But all three of them got a 16. The only one of them is 5 feet from you. It's 20 feet. It's 20 feet. Okay, fine. It's I'll 20 feet the other. of bright light. Technically, we're not even on the board, so we're not even nowhere near them. Yeah, it's, it's one of them crit failed. I wonder how that's of, gonna work. So, the one in so the one. Okay, he fucking does. <laughs> you, you only got one, but that's the. What do you mean? I only got one. The other two got a fucking. That's a a 16 and a fucking. Where's the 16? I'm doing the math. They're level 20. Are they level 20? What do you fucking think? I was going to put weak-ass NPCs? That's funny. They're, they're fucking forges. Set. They're master forges. Why the fuck would they be level 20? Yeah, yeah, just re yeah, if they're level 20, why don't they fucking kill the griffin? Yeah. Because why not? They literally yeah, said yeah, they well, could. Well, well, here. We'll, we'll say that. Yeah, they, like, they could, we'll and then they said do it, here, and they said no. Yeah, so, so, all right. So NPC, with you trying or with you flashbanging one of them, one of them is complete. Uh, what what is it? It makes them blind it for one round. Yeah, it's a bonus action. Okay. Uh, so it would just blind them, I guess. Okay, so the one in the back over here is now blinded, and you, I guess we're going to roll fucking initiative. Because no, I'm gonna run. Mm, <laughs> well, you are within range of one of them, and. You're not going to be able to run. Sorry, actions have consequences, my friend. They're not going to be able to run? No. Now, why can't NPC run? So, he is five feet from one. He's going to take an opportunity of attack on one. We're going to roll initiative because he's going to be... He started a fight. And I said this uh, yet. You said 20 feet. I feel like we should interject. Yeah, I mean, at any moment. Please, guys. You can interject. Yeah, hey, did Donald, do you want it? Because you have high persuasion. <laughs> I'm content to sit here and just let NPC get his ass beaten. This so, is fun. Come on, NPC. Yeah, I, I, I just, I'm just not Are gonna roll initiative? initiative. Yep, you roll initiative. Yep, that's me there, telling my player he'd have to roll initiative for the consequences of his action. Little did I know that my night was about to turn upside down. Hi, I'm your DM Taco King, and this is my story. Oh, welcome to the first ever Prisoners of Gazara's Q&A poll session recap. Uh, I am your DM, Taco King. I am, you guys are here completely of your own will, and it's not because I fucked up a recording uh, and stopped recording the session two or an hour into it. And here I am joined with our players. We have Grouchy Nuts, who plays Rowan. Yo. We have Dongle, who plays Amp. <laughs> oh NPC God. who plays yeah. Stumbo. Fuck Grouchy. Ten <laughs> letters who plays Satch. <laughs> and Taylor who plays Andy. I'm going to fuck Grouchy. <laughs> whoa, 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 what? Oh God. Damn. The whole kind of you know what's crazy? One of the questions actually kind of relates to that. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Let's go. So, uh, if you guys are listening to this Wait right now, obviously you could tell we are. Uh, we're not playing retarded. a session right now yet. We well, one of us is retarded. One of us is the. It's only the fault of one person right here. 
I mean, it's one person's <laughs> fault, but I think we're all retarded. Well, we all are. We all are. In fact, I think to be determined. Let let the viewers guess which ones are retarded and which ones are not oh, retarded. Yeah, well, the, the you, funny you, thing you, is, you, I'm gonna you, say this. You. I'm gonna say this. Our viewership is we're slowly gaining traction, and I like it. But I think it's because I, I had this conversation with someone earlier. They said they don't. Or I seem like I give you guys too much free reign, and I don't railroad you. And I said. No, I put the story there. I just let them do whatever they want, and I just try tailoring around it. They're like, "Well, it seems like you have too much trouble, like keeping them pulled in." I was like, "I was like, no, it was like it's going to fucking go crazy regardless." Like, look at my players, and I think that's why we're gaining traction because we're not s- scripted, basically. You know what I mean? Uh, yep. So. Yep. So, first of all, thank you, Vera, for. I don't know what you mean. Okay. Well. Um, Shut up. <laughs> we Ladies found one of them. Our first yeah, we found our first one. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah. So today, uh, we're doing it a little different. We're going to, unfortunately, like like we already hinted at, I fucked up the recording, and the rest of the session is lost to time, and we'll never be able to re-record it. And we would have just has it now. No, that's a fictional character, dumbass. But shut up. That was cool. Oh. That was cool. That was cool. He that thought was that was cool. cool. I thought it was fucking cool. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to go into detail on what happened at the rest for the rest of that session. Because, um, again, dude, there's no way. It, it's too, it had too much in it for us to just, we're, we're not going to fucking try faking the session and re-recording that shit. No. So, um, let's first, let's, let's break down where it was, where it ended. Whereas NPC, Mr. Stumbo, just started a bunch of shit with the three Master Smith doors at the north. NPC, I gotta ask, what the Master fuck was your Smith. problem? We haven't talked about this since. Like, we just ended the session, I got so pissed I fucked up recording and we left. So what was your problem with those fucking doors? I thought it would be funny. That's literally it. I just thought it would be funny to just start shit. You started shit and you went to death savings because of it. <laughs> death savings. Kind of big is it. I, mean, I don't regret at all. Do you have no regrets? So, yeah, NPC started a bunch of shit with the, the dwarves, and it was three level 20 dwarves, so what do you think really happened? He went into death savings after one turn? Yeah, but... pretty much. No, no, it was it was awesome. It was epic. It was all so valiant. I won. Uh-huh. I won. Uh-huh. I won. Uh-huh. I won. You, you, who, who picked you up? I think Dongle had to expend some charges to pick you up. I had yeah, to fix his yeah, broke ass, but him there was, twice. I had to fucking heal him multiple times, but it was not before I paid him back for that. So a big thing that I have about from there, from there, you know, that was kind of just a stay okay. in your stay in your lane type of moment for me. But what happened from there was the real problem because I some people are going to say I fucked up with what I allowed. They all went after the griffin, and they found the griffin. And I remember at one point in that this fight with the griffin, I could completely see what all of you were trying to do. And it, it was the first time I've ever had a DM session with you guys where I went, I want to take away what you're trying to do just because. I didn't <laughs> allow it. I didn't, al- I didn't do it. I didn't do it. But it was the first time I've ever been like, I do not want to give you guys what you're doing. Oh, please. What's the issue? So they um, they they were actually had the Griffin. Had, go figure. Didn't fucking realize the stats of the Griffin were that low. But they were able to um, overpower the Griffin, basically, and uh, do a couple animal handling checks and a lot of wheeling and dealing and shit. And uh, they tamed the Griffin. So now they have a tamed... <laughs> Fucking Griffin. <laughs> Disappointment in your voice is what well, makes it's because, doing it's all that bullshit it, worth it. It was like it's like every combat you guys <laughs> avoid, and then everything you don't need combat with NPC, you start a combat with. That's because yeah. I can only rein in NPC so goddamn much. So well, you see, Taco, I avoid combat because of, up until now I literally couldn't fight, so it was the easiest solution. So my question is. What are your guys' plans with that griffin? <laughs> so just uh, you wait. Uh, okay. that's that's right, yeah. Keep it as a pet. We're going to we're listen to them. All right, no, 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 no. Let me get this out of the way. Who tamed the griffin? That was me, motherfucker. Yeah, Step yeah. off. 
I'm just saying, as of right now, as where the story lies, it's just your pet. Yeah, it is just my pet for now. You ain't, yeah. Don't don't go saying our pet, motherfucker. You know what? We're a team. We work together, and it is our pet. I'll kill that fucking griffin right then and there if you keep talking. I gotta ask Dong. Kill the griffin, and I'm gonna kill what Marty, uh, Steve, whatever that spider's name is. (laughs) That doesn't matter to me. I don't even know. I got a question, Dong. I got a question, Dong. Would you allow me to put a party hat on it? Oh, please do. Please do. I don't care if it wears a hat. Never mind. What? Never mind. Grouchy wants it. I, I'm i not allowed to do it anymore. I'm sorry. Oh, so we're just we're just being haters tonight. I'm not going to be. I wasn't going to be a hater. You're just saying you. something ostensibly wrong. It's not your griffin. It's mine. I didn't say it was my griffin. I said it's ours. It's close enough. I'm not, com- I'm not a communist. Is. You can't Peter slide griffin? that under me. Mm, you are a communist. And you're fake Wait, thinking. You probably don't love Jesus. <laughs> What the um, fuck is that? I want to ask what that means, but I don't care. It's a phrase that we say over yonder. It's like a devil in a Sunday hat. Right. It's like Alabama. Know. What do you mean over yonder? It's down under. I'm literally like two and a half hours away from where you live, dog. Over yonder, my ass. What is over yonder? <laughs> All right, I, I went to a Denny's right. in Alabama and nearly shit my pants. How about that? <laughs> well, that's because you messed up and went to Denny's. Should have went to Waffle House. All right. Yeah, so, all right, all right. And also make me I'm gonna get a drink. So I gotta say that yeah, that that it, it, I was wondering what you guys were really going to do with that Griffin because when Dongle tamed it, I went, "This isn't going to be like a party pet." I don't feel like it's going to be a party pet. <laughs> now, now I'm really curious to see how it's it. Dongle, there's always okay. There's always a pet. Go ahead, call him a main character. Huh? Call him the main character. Do it. <laughs> you're about to say it. Shut up, thank you. You're about to say it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so after they tamed the griffin. Now I gotta say <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna you have guys... to delete this. Hey, DoorDash is here. Alright. You're good. Shut up, bitch. Leaving Let's that go. Out. So <laughs> anyway, so, so I gotta say that once you guys beat the Griffin, I'm. This is still in like the beginning part of this where you guys initially went to the guard outpost. Yeah. The I got. I'm not trying to be mean. I absolutely adore when you guys put ten letters up to talk because it is like <laughs> how, what what is Chris Chan going to be like if he had to talk to a cra- <laughs> cashier? And he's so awkward, <laughs> but I love every minute of it because it's so awkward and it's. Just it hurts. It hurts sometimes. I'm back. I bought my t- I bought myself a one way ticket out of talking about any of that bullshit. <laughs> yeah. So my main thought process. I, this is another question. So after you guys beat the Griffin, you go back to the guard outpost to get the money, and you tell the guard that you didn't kill the Griffin, and it, because you couldn't give it a talent, of course, and that you tamed it instead. And you expected him to give you... That was a big thing. We we spit like 10 minutes. Hey, that, you that, guys... that was a uh, fucking NPC. What the your, fuck? Your microphone oh, is like fucked. Your microphone You can still understand, right? No, for, seriously, fix no. your mic. Yeah. Barely, all, all we hear okay, is... he's not doing it for comedic. Dude, effect. it's permanent! It's permanent! <laughs> he fucked it up! He finally broke his microphone. Oh, oh, good! No, no, Alright, let's no. go a little bit. Oh, oh no! There you go. It's you sound fixed. better. It's kind of fake. So yeah, yeah. So when you tell the guard that you didn't kill the griffin, yeah, these, these motherfucker NPC and grouchy kept like fucking pussy footing around. <laughs> oh, no, 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 he's okay. throwing blame. Excuse me. I was trying to tell Grouchy to shut the fuck up so I could tell him that I wanted the money. I'll take it. But Grouchy kept fucking going off. Oh. <gasps> I did. Go off in your mind. I so did. I can't, there's no defending that one. I did. So yeah. So when you guys told the guard that you didn't kill the griffin, you actually tamed it. Um, the guard, not him. He said, "I need to go get my boss." That was a big thing. He was like, "Let me go get my boss." And you're like, "Hold on, hold on, hold on a second, Grouch." Grouchy was like, "Hold up, don't go in there. You don't need to get your boss. We can sell this right now." It's like <laughs> he's like, "No, I can't give you the money. I'm not giving you the money. I'm not the one that gives the money." What was your thought process of telling this soldier who already told you he doesn't pay you, he need to go talk to his boss because you didn't have a talent to give him to bring back to his boss? 
Um, my thought process was that for some reason I just didn't trust the old Mr. Karen going and talking to his manager because I felt like something bad was going to happen. So I felt like if we just like you know. What, what was him out okay? Right no. Why, why, why is he a Karen? Why is he a Karen? That doesn't make sense. He just said, "Hey, let me, you don't have a talent to give me." Okay, hold on. Let me I, go. I don't respect anyone that has to check with their superiors without answering the question. Like, what were they going to detain us? I, I don't know what they were going to do, but I felt like he had money in his pocket, and I felt like we could have <laughs> just, you know, knocked him off and took his money I mean, and then walked away. And you're then the type of person. I think that's how we get kicked out of town. You want to bring my gun? <laughs> Hold on. We're missing a detail here. Did you say knock him off? Yeah. Yeah, did you just try to you knock were him You're going to kill off. that man? Yes, I was, did, was that not obvious that I was trying to kill him? No, okay. No. Why? 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 Yes, he was yes, the it guard. Was. It was very obvious that you said that you're trying to do it because I played D&D with you before. Okay, thank you. One person freaking got my, like, understood what I was trying to do. I was sitting there. I, I get like, bored. The and you start asking questions. I'm like, oh, you know, this is bad. I get bored. Okay, it's look, talk it's, you got no right to talk. You got no right to talk. Taco, no right to talk. Taco, this is how it goes. When I feel antsy or I get bored and I see a random ass no name character that's just like a middleman, I feel like they need to die. So I feel like it is well, my Well, that no name ca- that no name character no, no, no. is the head guard of the fucking town. Grouchy? Yeah, well he was giving me Karen vibes and he was like, mm, "No, you got to talk to my manager." So Can I, I recommend like, oh, something. Good. It's what I do when I get bored. <laughs> Stop paying would... attention and go play something else. And then you know like what? whenever That's someone a bad says like, NPC. "That's hey, why you're retard you go, number 1." Huh? <laughs> True. It's true. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's true. So I don't true. think 200 gold is worth getting kicked out of what, town. What about That's you, uh, 10 letters? What about you? You you and NPC and I mean, Groucher were kind of leading this conversation, but like... Fuck Groucher. Did, did you guys actually think she was trying to kill him? Because I didn't. No. I didn't. I don't know what, I I don't know what fucking about. shit she was thinking of, but it, I, I did say the worst, the worst, like, worst case would be we don't get uh, any money. And uh, right. we didn't get much money. You got half we of what got... you promised. You got half no, we only got 25. He said 25. He gave yeah, me... you literally said 25. 20, 25 gold out of two, 200 plus 50 from that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like he, he offered 50 extra gold. Yeah, he, he offered 50 extra, but we that, didn't get that's it. That's still uh, in the recording, so, like, it'll, like that well, what part, you, like, uh, what he offered, wait, like, was actually in the recording. Wait, when did you start re-recording? Uh, or did, no, did I, you? I never. Never. It stopped that NPC starting to fight. That's why we're going through all of this. Oh. So, so when, what do you mean by it was in the recording? Uh, in so you guys talked to the I'm guard beforehand. Remember, before you went off after the Griffin, you went and talked to the guard. Oh yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. So because I did the same bit where you guys show up at the guardhouse, the lady looks at you, looks down, sighs, looks back up, looks back down, writes something down, looks back up, sighs. Can I help you? That shit. I'm I'm pretty sure you guys like were laughing wholeheartedly internally at the comedic genius of that whole bit that I keep doing every time you go to the guard's house. I'm going to knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Still walk in. So uh so besides that, so after that you guys got going off what you're saying right there, 25 gold, I don't even remember. Uh so do- here here's the part that confused me. Your next thing was you guys were trying to set up waiting for Raz because Raz got kidnapped, and we already know this. Uh, we held the first twenty minutes of the session as me fucking yelling at I think NPC Ten Letters and Grouchy because you guys didn't notice that Raz got kidnapped. Um, it's like, in the it's session a real shame that. we can't bring the the Griffin. We couldn't bring the Griffin to the deal. It's a real shame. Well, I mean, it was like. Oh yeah, that was that was that was kind of sad. Hey, you can't you can't just bring him on Strasty back to fucking town after you said you're going no, to kill him. That was like it. one of the only times shit. ever that you actually put your foot down against us, and you were like, "No." I well, it's like him. there's there's guards. Remember, the guards are posted up right now, waiting for the goblins. They got a lot of shit on their plate. So I don't posted. know. I think they'd be impressed seeing a tamed griffin. I mean, if even if they wanted to like do something about it, Donald had a fucking griffin. Also, if you're gonna kill the, the fucking guard, I think I think it, if if it all worked out, I think it would have been better. Counter in our argument, favor. counter argument, Taco. How many guards were in there? Uh, I, the town itself would have had like fifty guards. You know how easy it was for four of us dumb fucks to like completely immobilize that. One dumb fuck. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. 
don't give you don't don't get fucking big nuts here because there was a big part of this. There was a good ten minutes of the like this the whole battle where and Dongo even kept like fucking chiming in every time I said it. It's like, am I really about to do this? Do I really want it? I don't want to do this. I was out loud saying, I do not want to give you guys this, Griffin. Mm-hmm. Why? Why are we trying to tame this thing? Just kill the thing. It's like, you want the gold, right? Why are you trying to tame it? Oh I, I was I verbally saying worth this. more alive than dead. Friendship is more important than $200. You know, for a guy that jacked off to My Little Pony so much, you'd think that you'd realize that friendship matters more than anything else. <laughs> you had to go there, didn't you? You had to bring up my creep. Yeah, guys. Yeah, don't worry. We're about to get on. Uh, we'll get on the uh, the Canterlot arc. Canterlot somewhere on the fucking map. Don't worry. I don't. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I just, you know. So I think you realize that friendship is important or something. But like, fucking no. I guess not. And just, I mean, it's just, everything's friendship with you guys. Just fucking the goblins, now the Griffin. I actually believe when I when I introduced the ba- the big bad boss, the first of many. Um, that it's not going to be what I think it is. I've already prepared my... Actually, today, I was literally telling myself, I was like, don't get super hyped about it, because you're going to do your cool super villain reveal, and they're going to be like, hey, can we, like, join you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm just ready for that. I'm completely <laughs> fucking ready Sam, for that. That's going to be a Sam Hyde bit, where I'm just sitting there in the truck with the fucking big bad boss, yeah. and I'm just sitting there, just like, right... Right, right, and we're just both like singing as we go down the road. Uh, but speaking so, of singing, the song that I was talking about about writing that Griffin uh-huh. that would be uh, probably Tears for Fears as uh, who uh, everybody wants to rule the world, so I can sit there and watch the fucking oil derricks burn like it's Iraq. Oh boy! So after the whole. Nice awkward conversation with the guards. You guys actually set up in the back alley to Yeah, they gave me the fucked up ass spawn. Goddamn. So you guys set up in the back alley to meet the people who kidnap Raz, which I think to I don't really think it surprised any of you that oh wait, no it didn't because you guys literally knew who kidnapped Raz was the person that you yeah. put in the pot, Andy. Um and funny thing is it just I the battle do I want to say I was disappointed? No. You guys took some damage, but Grouchy was kind of like already at her limit of how late she was able to stay up. And I don't fucking, remember it. You yeah. were zoned. You took a lot of damage, but you didn't go into death saves. Um, my main, yeah, before, before you even get into the battle, I have one question. Dongle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why'd you leave your homies to go do it by themselves? <laughs> Like you didn't even show up. Like you, you just said I. He was I like, gotta... "I got a fucking Griffin." Nah, fuck it. Uh, who else are you gonna take care of the uh, Griffin? Yeah. None of these dumbasses can do it. I don't have animal handling, so Jesse was like, also, oh, "I'll go do it," and I was like, "Okay." Also, uh, on a realistic manner, I was the only person who knew how to take care of the fucking thing. Yeah, aren't you a fucking? Or not only that, but well, you, you, you also. Have to, no, what? Oh my god! Spend time did training you think Dongle was fucking Taylor? That what Ten Letters said is actually true. I forgot. I did say that we want. I want you to do some rolls, and we'll see how many mm-hmm. hours it takes you to kind of, you know. Yeah, I want you to actually train with. It. I didn't just give it to you. You're not a fucking expert, but you know. I guess that makes sense. I mean, oh, but, just <laughs> you don't realize what you did. No, I mean, no. I just, fuck, man. I, I stopped giving a shit what I do. I just roll with it now. But, like like I was telling that person earlier, I don't railroad you guys. And even when whatever I'm doing is probably going to fuck everything up, uh, the only way you can do is rolling with it. Like, like just, just saying, this drop-in session that we're having Friday, you know, we're trying to finish out these characters we've been playing for a while. You know, I told myself, you know, it's kind of... I, I fucked up. I gave NPC... You know, three hundred zombies in a village. Five hundred forty. Five hundred forty <laughs> village or zombies in a village. I'm like, wait a second. No, I didn't. I know exactly how I'm about to do this. I know who I'm about to use. Uh, I know exactly what I'm about to do. Is it oh. going to work out well? Probably not. Probably not at all. But if we have fun, that's all I give a shit about. <laughs> so, hey. so, okay, so buddy. in the hey. in the go. Yeah. You're about to say something, Taylor. No, I said you're gay for me. Like, ah, oh, man, fun is all that matters while you're sitting there telling us, oh, stop having fun. Stop taking <laughs> I have never, <laughs> I have never once actually been like, stop having fun. 
I'm having fun. Yeah, that one. So, uh, and, and you guys set up. Yeah, fucking ten letters finally utilizes his actual ability of you know sniping, and sets up on the building across from where they actually had Raz tied up. It was only five. Like I, I used the thug, um, <laughs> not um, the thug hunter, but I used, I used the thug uh, stat block. And thugs are actually pretty strong for. Uh, they're a challenge rating one and two. Yeah, thugs are pretty strong when you don't roll two twenties and an eighteen. That is true. Uh, the the thugs rolled really well, and I think you guys were rolling kind of shitty. But... No, 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 no. You have that backwards because oh. ten instantly killed big arm. I oh, literally yeah. that guy three shots. Oh yeah, yeah, you did. You literally fucked up. The Mr. rest of Ball the thugs guy. didn't. The rest of the thugs didn't fucking matter. Yeah, as soon as uh, the guy was killed, one... the, yeah, the thugs you... were like scared. Yeah, you frightened one. That ran completely away before the fight even finished, and then you uh, you killed the others. The others got killed too. Yeah, it was it wasn't as you know I, even though it was as grandiose a fight as I you know imagined it. It was still fun. It was cool to finally see you guys do some combat, even though short lived. I mean, yeah, level we're two. That work. We're level two, and you're not going to fucking do the most amazing thing in the world. But you guys, you know. You got the job done. Also, I do want to retcon something I did say uh, because I think it was getting it was so late that I I had an idea of what I was supposed to actually say with Raz, but I didn't uh, because when you guys finished, we, we you know like I said, everybody was tar- starting to tap out, and Grouchy was literally a zombie, probably wasn't even hearing anything we were saying, and I had nope. Raz, I literally had Raz as you on time say. Oh, I'm so glad you saved me. This thing's about to blow. And he points up to the ring of fire. And I'm like, there's no reason for him to fucking say that a day later when he's been captured all day. Like, it made no sense. But I was trying to just finish the session to get it over with. Um, So the retcon I was thinking about is, like, <laughs> it doesn't matter now. But have, like, I wanted to have him say some fucking cheesy one line. But I couldn't. I, again, I want the session to finish. So... What, does the ring still uh, light up? Yeah, the ring the ring is still like completely lit up. Um, okay, yeah. So I, I, or, like, or like you, from what you said, he's like it was about to blow or something. No, is that what no, it, no. I wanted to retcon that because okay. it's only been one day since we Holy talked. Holy fuck, Lois! I'm coming. Fucking caught me off guard with that. Peter, <laughs> the horse is here. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> fucking the horse is in. So, yeah, but I'm I'm retconning that Raz didn't say nothing about the ring. He said he's like I, <laughs> that's what it was. I wanted Raz to say something like, oh, thanks for that, chaps." Can't God. wait to go back home to my wife. I was yeah, literally I about to say, I can't wife. wait to go back home to my wife and kids. I love kid. my wife. I love my wife. Uh, that was another thing. It, I, that was another thing. Ball. I don't know if that got recorded. I think it did. But you guys meet up with this motherfucker's wife to figure out he's kidnapped. <laughs> the first, hey, by the way, Garzara's got like a fucking job for you. Like, my husband <laughs> is kidnapped right now. You think I get yeah, a yeah, shit? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> don't give a fuck. Try not to oh, go too much. You know, well, man. Also talk, I don't know if you're trying to like, you're give the, with, with like, the introduction of their child. I, don't right. sure I already told you there were, there was a kid beforehand. Yeah, you already it was saying. just it was oh, just Dan, he was know. definitely yeah, trying to guilt trip us because he already not. knew where we were going and he was like, Hell I no, let's not this because yeah. we put we Wait, we no, no, put no. it out one time when the goblins was like, Yeah, bring me that girl to get raped and okay. he offered us up a girl and we were like, No, not her. It can't be her. So he shit? thought he thought if he threw out a kid and a mother and a, a a sad little wife whose husband was kidnapped. We'd be like, "Oh, you know what? She don't deserve it." But in reality, we're like, "Now, nah, fuck that bitch. <laughs> Go on to the goblins." No, no, no. I don't think you realize this. Is, is that if all of you are complaining about the fact that he tried to guilt trip you, it means you're the you're the closest to being susceptible to that horror shit. You need to toss that notion out of your head. He oh, no, literally killed his kids and his wife. Just because some dragon f- said so. Right. Talk about old Ricky. <laughs> some yeah. Old Ricky like, no, sacrifice. I was, I, was I, was just ex- I was explaining Taco's actions of why he gave the sad sob story. That the, no, none of that matters. Who gives a shit? What's happening? 
we're we're Giving talking about a... we're talking about like they're saying I tried guilt tripping them with when you guys initially met his wife, yeah, and she's <laughs> shut up. If you see, how the fuck? Like, it's because it I had like really you know, up for like debate. He did. <laughs> how the fuck is it guilt tripping to introduce characters? He did. I... He introduced her to the said song. He did that. <laughs> you hear that? Did you hear that? Ah, ah. That's exactly what he did when someone suggested. He was like, uh, uh, mm, no, like she, she, she's looking for her husband. Yeah, and then I said, I, good. She can look for him after he returns, and then she becomes a fucking uh, hot. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Taco. Yeah. I forgot. We didn't do the thing because I sent you the DMs. Oh, what <sighs> thing? What thing? Oh, where uh, I was gonna run out. Like as we were leaving, and oh yeah, yeah, you... as loud as I can, we're gonna go find a dead guy. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that was also one thing I, I kind of, as as NPC DM'd me when that was happening. He literally said, "As we leave, I'm going to yell as loud as I can. Let's go find a dead guy." Woo! <laughs> and he never did it. Yeah, <laughs> so... I never did it because like everyone was just like, "So where are we going? Where, where are we going?" Like you're going at the front door or the back door. To be honest, like, thinking about it, that's actually the second time NPCs went to do something. And because we all have our ideas of what we want to do, NPCs got never shot. Like the first time was NPC trying to perform in the town square. You should have just fucking done it then. I, I again this True. is this is more on my fault. Again, we're get back to gaslighting me. Back to gaslighting me. But you deserve it. I personally I, I did enjoy how Raz's thing wrapped up. I personally, honestly, the Griffin thing is fucking whatever. I enjoyed it. It was stupid. I was glad I finally got to punish NPC for his stupid ass, you know, antics. I didn't, didn't learn anything. I know you didn't learn anything. It, it was actually capable of learning. The worst thing about it was it felt so unneeded too. It was they were just like. You're going after the Griffin NPC is like, why don't you fucking kill the Griffin, you little bitches? And it's like, what? What? Where, where is this coming <laughs> they from? They could have. They genuinely could have. They could have. But that's the point of being a master. You don't go do your own shit anymore. You pay people to go do it. What? That is the point of being this a doesn't master. Make, this doesn't make sense at all. No. Yes. Uh, 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 wrong. 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 Billionaires pay fucking like dollars. To get Chinese people to die in factories for them, and you're sitting here saying that you wouldn't do the same if you were rich in like the medieval times. Yeah, got a I point. Myself. All right, but yeah, that's where the session wrapped up, and I do have a plan uh, of action, like where where we're going for that. We're going to immediately head off with Raz back to his house on in the next session, and uh, go from there on what happens. Uh, yep, there is a. I got a lot planned. We still have probably maybe one or maybe one and a half sessions left before you guys move on from this town. Possibly. Because with the goblin thing that you guys are setting up, and I have like two more NPCs I want to um, put in the campaign. Also, you guys are going to... I, I take it, I'm just... It's okay to metagame here. You guys are probably trying to set up the blink crystal inside Raz's house, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that any of these other motherfuckers remembered that? No, I remember. I, I, remember it. Okay, I thought I we remember were going to set up the crystal because the of something Taco has told me that you guys don't know. That was the fucking I first one that suggested. Set up hey, a cool we and can, awesome, we can use and totally brand new, crystal. invented Goblin Awesome Cave. But no, oh, that is true. Ten, ten really was the first one to suggest Rad's house. I just wonder why are we keeping the goblins alive again? The they goblins wanna... alive? Come on, you son of a Dude, bitch! The so they're gonna be our army. Them. All right, NPC, you better, you better find a good use of that. I, I don't think NPC you don't realizes tell me what to do. I don't think NPC I'm realizes that right. goblins, at their best, are still worse than most other. Mobs. That is true. Dude, I just wanted, I just wanted a little buddy. If you want a little buddy, then just uh, go buddy? get one. No, not all of them. Yeah, NPC. Literally, what? if you just want a little friend companion, just. Ask me if you could search around for a companion or something, and we'll work something out. <laughs> but instead, uh, like oh, he's no, got like it's... a fucking rat in his pocket. I, 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 literally, if he rat. if he made me start dealing with like squeak 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 squeak, your little rat guy is speaking up. NPC is gonna fucking steal my bit of having the pet rat. Fuck you. But uh, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna what? say I'm gonna say a that fucking Griffin. I have a plan for the goblins, and depending on how you guys work on it. Is whether it's a success or not, that's about all I could say with it. 
Uh, my question is, um, they, who who listened to the last episode by chance? You haven't posted it. Yeah, I have episode four. <laughs> the one before this one. Oh, well, that's not the last that. episode. Yes, <laughs> it is. The last one that I posted. Before, before Thursday. The last one I posted. That's what I mean. The last one. Well, you didn't say last one. We're literally, we are in the current oh. session. You realize this is an extension of the current session, right? Right. It's like 2.0. Oh, or as I call it, 2.0. But anyways. <laughs> that was gay. <laughs> Ignore it. It's a I'm stupid dumb, joke man. I used to do. It's a stupid joke I used to do. But anyways. Um, so who and listened to the last the one? Joke? Who, who listened to the last one? I'm curious. Fucking nobody. Okay, that's fine. Crickets, crickets, crickets. I don't expect I don't expect you guys to listen to yourself play a, a virtual board game, but uh, old Ricky, that that's something I want to touch on. Uh, the opening skit with old Ricky was uh, I had like a disembodied voice swooping and ask old Ricky how he's been on his travels. It's only been a couple days, but old Ricky actually says uh, he says, "Well, I saw a giant ring of fire above the town of Seacumber off in the distance. It looks nasty." <laughs> But I also ran into a bunch of goblins that, if you give them gold, will give you sexual favors. Um, and <laughs> this is my voice is like, how do you know that, old Ricky? And he's like, because I had sex with them. I blew all five of their little <laughs> goblin holes wide open, had them gaping and screaming. So old Ricky fucked all those goblins, by the way. Oh. Yep. Okay. Yep. He killed, he killed Your goblins his... are sullied. He killed his wife and children. You did that? It, if you listen to the last episode, those skits are canonical. You did that. I straight up did. It's the very first. It's the first minute and thirty seconds of the episode. I mean, <sighs> to be honest, we shouldn't give well, a fuck if the goblin Taco, is old or not. Uh, you fuck me. Wife I fuck bad, you. You know, she's the one that's gonna be the. Now I gotta maker. think of something to completely fuck you over. I don't really know how to rebuttal that, so I guess we'll NPC's just move on. mad that it's yeah, that, that, it. I'm going to find a way to fuck you over. Are you Why really hurt that old NPC... Ricky had sex with the goblins? I'm heartbroken. All right. All right. <laughs> so, I don't know what you're talking about. So with all that said, guys, I've actually been collecting uh, questions that's been sent in via comments, emails, uh, whatever... There, I had to. I went on. No, no, no. Oh, I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it, someone fucking email you a question? I've, I've had two emails because give me their uh, email address email right now. I am not oh. giving their email address. Give me their email address. I'm not right giving. Now. You, I'm I am not going to send people. them a gay poll. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I think on Podbean it shows my email address, and someone sent me oh. like I got like two emails. He's stalking you for your head. This, this is a burn email. <laughs> Right, and this is not your like personal business or whatever. Uh, it's it business one. It's the shit I'm using for my YouTube and everything. It's fine. Okay. But e- either way, yeah, no, I wouldn't use my personal email. It's got my fucking name in it. So, but anyways, uh, so these questions, I, I kind of like lined them up, going from where we started playing this session or this campaign to up to currently. And I just want all of us to kind of dive into them. We all, you know, it's not a single answer. If you guys got an opinion on it, speak up. So the first question was sent in by the person who wants to be referred to as Vivi. Uh, Why did you guys not ask old Ricky to come with you? Because it covers more He's ground old? to split. No, not even that. It covers more ground and investigates more leads. I sent him in the fucking short way in, long route back. I'm, we're going to meet him halfway. Yeah, I, I could tell that question was like from the very beginning, and I understand. I I knew the answer to it, but I fuck it, threw it in there for no reason. Yeah, just just to have the question answered. Yeah. Did you? Would you guys have liked to actually have old Ricky with you? If if there was a, I don't even know what reason. old Ricky was would have well, ended I mean, up doing. Yeah, my like, goblins. Like he wouldn't have done <laughs> anything up, that we didn't already would have already <laughs> done. It would. It's just better to send him off to go to his own business, and we'll link back up. All right. Uh, this is sent in from user Long Hard Dong. Yes, sir. True. <laughs> I I laughed for two minutes at that name. I was like, yes, that's so sir. fucking childish. That's uh, my alt, bro. Sorry. This this one, I actually Dong. I think I <clears throat> said this one out loud to you earlier. But when Sprocket was asking the group who they were, why wasn't your initial response to show your marks? As we're retarded. 
Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. We're fucking That's retarded. Not the like, I, I already established this earlier in the episode. We're fucking retarded. <laughs> Would you, uh, out of curiosity, that's actually a good question. So you guys are actually being really cautious about showing the mark or doing the hand sign or whatever. Is there, Can is there a reason? Sense? Are you guys doing that out of choice yourself or are you afraid I'm, I'm tricking you most of the time? No, no that's because right. showing, the, uh, showing the mark is fucking stupid. <laughs> that end yeah, up I can, I have a laminated piece of paper that I can just pull out. What about you, Tim? Wait, 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 hold on. We had a hand sign? <laughs> yeah, it's the friendship salute. Yeah, it's the friendship salute. Yeah. Old That's Ricky actually you it. it. I mean, Old I Ricky know. showed you it in episode one, no, or two. Go on, Ten, what is it? Well, What's the in? fact that none of us remembered at the time. <laughs> so most of your guys' reasoning is, oh, uh, yeah, we just forgot. Oh, yeah, we're retarded. <laughs> well, I mean, to, honestly, I think the fucking... Uh, Sigils and everything are already really fucking stupid. Personally, hurtful. I think but okay, having an, I think having an identifying mark as a cultist like a is really funny and all that. But I feel like words and shit would probably be way easier than a tattoo. Look, yeah, I was I trying to stay far away paper. from dark easiest. brotherhood territory. You know, I was trying to stay far away from that because I love the dark brotherhood, even though they're super cringy. You already have goblin rape. Fucking, it's not like it matters. I've installed Skyrim mods before. <laughs> yeah, you do. You you party with the Charizards too? Yeah. Hey, wait. I have a question, Taco. Sure. sure. Since we haven't gotten to like the subclass the part of mod. our uh, thing yet, no. uh, we can still like fuck with that and like look at it more, right? So here here's my rule on this, actually, and this is for anyone listening. If just in case this does changes. I'm fine with people changing their class, race, everything about their character up until level five. Once you hit level five, you're locked in. You know, if you haven't found out what the fuck you want to play by then, you know, that's Wait, we can be changing our shit? I don't and want you to. I don't <laughs> want you to, but you can. The stand. you can. And you, no, 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 you are not becoming an artificer. Because yeah. you do not have the mental capacity or the D&D knowledge yet to be an <laughs> artificer. That's why you're supposed to come into the drop-in sessions to learn how an artificer works. All right. That's you, why I got you and Dongle. You, no, we're not. You, we need you. There's training wheels, and eventually they have to come off. You're already getting the hang of the fighter. You're finally getting the hang of the fire. I know. Please let me let me elaborate that fighter is still one of the easiest fucking base classes in the entirety of 5e. Shut the fuck up, Dungle. <laughs> what? what were you about to say, NPC? I cobbled it together in two minutes. Uh, uh, I th think I might, because I had it down as the College of Jesters, but uh, looking at it, I'm gonna, look, gonna be honest, a little bit underwhelming. You change it to the College it, of Stars, you fucking homo. I might homo. change it, might not. Well, make your mind up, tell me, we'll discuss it, okay? But okay, I, we to, to, to you, to you, I want you to actually know what fucking spell you're using and say, I actually know how it works. I don't want to, in the next session, I have to Google the spell you're doing because I know what it does roughly, but I don't know the full effect. Yeah, hey, NPC, so about like you saying you pay attention and all that, it's horseshit if you don't know what a spell does. That's true. Yeah. Hey, you're, also saying, you're also saying it's underwhelming, but I, you're sitting here telling me you don't have any spells. I'm surprised you don't have any cantrips. You haven't been doing, like, prestidigitation. No, I, ha I do or... have cantrips. They're all just, like, ways to fuck you over. Wow. He doesn't know anything about what he's doing with Magic Taco. He hey, doesn't... That was, never clear, put, that was made he's never, very poignant. He's yeah. never once used magic in a fucking actual proper manner in any video yeah. game Hey, ever. I used fucking mending. You used mending to break a bar that you broke. <laughs> Wait to break a bar that I broke? You headbutted the bar and snapped the fucking board that was supporting it in half, and then cast mending on it. Remember you break crit, a bar that I broke. You rolled. You rolled the a one crit where you tried on to your. Go, you tried to go unconscious, but yeah. you rolled. Oh no! I know. I was making fun of Taco because he said break a bar that I broke. Once again, let's introduce retard number one NPC. All right, so let's move on. To the next question. Um, like fuck you're anything special? You. All right, so this is sent in from Alex J, so you can get 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 an idea. Yeah, Alex Jones? No. Yeah, <laughs> it's not Alex yeah. Jones. When when I Yo, saw dude, when I what saw do you think the, about frogs? When I saw the comment, and I was like, "This motherfucker's name." 
I was like, okay, YouTube. I was like, you you made me think Alex Jones. Whatever. Andro Jones? But, uh, All right, what is it? Let's go. It says, I love the idea of a smithing mechanic in D&D. What's the first items you guys will craft for yourself? Let's go down the line. Andy. No. Uh, I don't fucking know. That's what I was going to say. I was like, hey, really nothing that I would smith other than fucking... I, oh, wait, no, 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 no. Grape shot for a fucking cannon. Grape shot for a fucking cannon because I am big enough to fit a cannon inside my pot. I'm going to do some Home Alone horse shit. All right, Dongle. Wait, I, wait, I did that bit. Dongle, I did that bit. Okay. <gasps> All right, Dongle, what about you? Well, you see, Taco, I... The thing that uh, you know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build, like... The, I'm just going to build the fucking hill giants. Okay, build, like... <laughs> what? I'm gonna build like the hill giants belt or the fucking I don't know fucking. There's a oh, lot of strength, shit. I strength could... of the fire giant and shit like that. Nope, nope. Belt of the hill giant. That, that's what I mean. Fucking, that... is, there's so much shit on the list that I could make right now. Well, remember, and to, to revisit because we just left the town, so it's like we didn't even got a chance to really dive into it. You're sent to gather materials for Roger. Like certain materials to make those items. Hey, Adrian, give me a minute, son. Yeah. So, it's not like, oh, I'm just going to have this outright. You guys are going to have to do something to it or get it. I figured that. College of Boom. All right. So, uh, what about you, Grouchy? Um, I would probably smith like some type of like muzzle device so I could like turn my lightning. Strike into like a cone, like so it wouldn't hit you in a direct line. You can hit it like in fan motion. You're putting on a gimp mask to make your breath attack work. <laughs> yeah, buddy, show sure him. Okay, I, I, you know, I could work with that. Like a, a or it that doesn't have to be a mask. It. it doesn't have to be a mask. It can literally be like a, I don't know, a fucking like bullhorn thing. <laughs> you mean like hold up like a fucking waffle <laughs> or a damn strainer in front of your face and blow? Yeah, this? yeah, really yeah. Funny. Uh, you know, no, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That's actually thinking a little bit out of the box. It's, it yeah. sounds a little stupid, but I mean, I, my I can first work thought with that. Was, I'm partial to axes, so my first thought was like, I'll just build me a better double headed axe. And I was like, nah, fuck that. I want my lightning strike to be like in a fan motion, not just one straight line. All right. What about you, NPC? Um, if you say deck of many things, I'll ban you right now. <laughs> really? I'm not allowed to say the deck of many You're things. You're not allowed to say deck of can many you things. Even smith, really? can, you, well, can you even smith the deck of many things? Oh, hey, talk I, I just, talk I, talk he, he could. I'll just make and it the impossible. And the next D&D book that's coming out, you just reminded me. Next D&D book there's, that's coming out, there's going to be a thing called the Book of Many Things. Yeah, I, I've been <laughs> looking. You're talking about Spelljammer, right? Yeah, I think so. Spelljammer's out. Um, right. Actually, they just pulled Spelljammer because apparently... The new race of monkey people was led by a white bard or enslaved air quotes. So they said oh, we pulled like the it because it's literally that's shit going on right now with D and D beyond. They're like, we didn't mean to like emulate slavery. It's like, wait, what? It's like you oh. can't just have a monkey race. Like, come on, that sounds cool. What do you mean slavery doesn't exist in D and D? It's cool as hell. Slavery does exist in D and D. Just like Let's that was go. just virtue. Apparently, virtue signaling to real world. What about you, Tin? Oh, Actually, gosh. no. We skipped. We skipped NPC. NPC. What the fuck would you build? Um, I'd like a button that would, when hit, cast the spell or the uh, April Fool spell, Banana Slip, which all it does is just spread in like a, I think like forty foot area. Just bananas. And whenever someone steps on it, they have to make a dex roll. Don't you have this, like, as an actual spell? No, I don't have it yet. But you're going to get it. Yeah, and when I get it, I would, like, say, hey. If not that, then I would like to try to uh, fuck with my sickle and get it, like, enchanted or something. So, like, if I hit somebody... You mean the sickle you barely know how to fucking use, right? Hey! Oh, you still don't know what you're doing, and basically, I'm no, we've had no, four no, no, no. instances where you've used the sickle, and every time, you, uh, uh, am I making? I'm making at range. How do I do it? Yeah, how do I? How do I make an attack at range? How, gonna, how no. do I make an attack at range? You say that you want to attack with the ranged part of it. That's how you do that, NPC. I know it's very difficult to remember. 
So uh, now going on to Mr. Patient Satch Boy. I know ten, what 10 Letters really wants because his class is built around it. In fact, I threw mainly the... Sm to avoid just, like, because I would have had to made an Artificer, uh, which Sprocket was, just for 10 Letters. I was like, why not, you know, make Roger, you know, an actual Smith and we all be able to Smith our own items instead of doing Magic Vendors shit, all that. So, 10 Letters, I mean, give me the answer. Obvious answer. What are, you, what are you going to build, Tin? A gun. Yep, a gun. yep that's, that, that about yep. summed it up right there. Yep. He's building a gun. Probably it's a sniper funny. rifle. It's funny because no, Tin doesn't uh, even have to like... This pro there's progression. It's funny. To the it's funny because Tin doesn't even have to actually like, you know, properly explain a bunch of shit just because smoke powder already existed in Wander Deep. Yep. So he doesn't even have to go through that big of a hassle. Yeah. It's mainly like I've I've been thinking about how difficult I want to make the the crafting of it. I think it's gonna like base itself around. I mean, you know, metal springs, gunpowder, all that stuff is fucking like pretty piss know. easy. Yeah. It's well, here's here's easy. the thing, talk. Here's the thing, talk. Because on the fucking uh, the class page, because uh -huh. it, it's all based on like all the fucking face value shit. It's just uh, if you want to make a gun. You need the required level and uh, gold, but uh, I don't know how in depth you want to go with that. And yeah, if, I'm, I'm still working. If you on are that. if you are going in depth, uh, would that also in entail skipping certain requirements like the level caps? Probably, or, probably. So I could just make a sniper rifle right off, the, right off the bat. Depending on how difficult and what we what it says, we'll we'll work on that because again, when we initially chose these homebrew classes, I already knew there was going to be some difficulties depending on what you guys need it and yours was the main one because i was like hey i need to give you a particular character so you can make this thing to make it make sense I heard and cat. well i know you can't have my cat my cats are really loud right now i mean it t ten didn't really need a specific he, he didn't need to but i wanted to make one because i was like eh, it gives more characters to world build with at least like, we already have a lot of characters you can world build with that's true. That's true. There's still more to come. Yeah, um, like we, like this is still a fucking on on fucking going project. There's a lot you can introduce. There, well, there's so much stuff, and depending on how this drop in session on Friday ends with this zombie arc and shit, uh, depends on how what people are alive that I was going to use. So we'll figure it out. Um, all right, next question. Do you guys fear, or this is from Yes Sir 67. Uh, yes, do, sir. You guys, <laughs> do you guys fear Gazara? Uh, he seems too jokey to be Fuck feared. No. I don't Not fear particularly. That. I mean, even though he squeezed my heart and almost killed me two, like twice the, in the first, you did like, say you're afraid of meeting twice. him. Yeah, I did. I did. Um, however, still not afraid of him. I think he's a bitch boy. That's a that's a better question. Do you guys actually dislike or like how I've taken Garzara? Because I don't know the way you guys like. act. The, the the way you guys act like it didn't feel right to keep Garzara the super fucking serious entity. You know what I mean? I like him. Uh, I I, like you, the way I picture Garzara is like the devil from South Park, like the gay yeah, devil that yeah, fucks yeah. Saddam Same. Hussein. That's the way. Same. Yeah, yeah. That's the way I um picture him. So I'm cool with it. I think if you kept him uh, too serious, uh, we most certainly would have fucking died. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'd have fucked like, up. I probably would have been dead. Grouchy most certainly would be dead. Says the person who has already used a saving. Lie. Sorry, but uh, I'm on his good side. All right. Oh, you're a fucking clown. That's, that was a super easy question. Let's move on next. All right, here's my response. Yeah, I sure. like him because, one, he's, in t he's like competent, and two... Uh, he's pretty much the employer at this point. He's a means to an end. It is yeah. funny because you say he's competent, and then there was there was this big argument. I can't remember who it was with Garzara, who one of you. And he's like, he's like, look, I'm trying to drop the fucking ball. I didn't talk to my followers. I don't really remember. Like, I'm I'm picking them <laughs> back up. And one of you is like, how the fuck are we supposed to follow these people anyway? It doesn't make sense. It's like <laughs> he's competent to a certain degree. <laughs> But uh yeah, in comparison to like our previous employers, yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. 
what right. are you talking about? They were awesome. Tan, you got any comments there, buddy? On what? Okay, yep. Moving on. <laughs> great, great comment, Tan. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is you from... need an applause button. <laughs> Yay! I'll, I'll add some pl- or applause, applause right there. <laughs> All right. This is from Rob M. Uh, what weapon do you guys actually use? It's hard to tell because you keep avoiding combat. Wrong, <laughs> 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 no, wrong, Rob M. All right. Let's because start. Let's, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> let's start with. Let's keep it simple. Let's start with a uh, fucking Taylor. Oh, what? What are we doing? What weapon do you actually use? It's hard to tell because you keep avoiding combat. What weapon do I actually use? It's a fucking uh, battle axe, like two hand. Dongle. Oh, I don't wait. use weapons, at least not until yeah, now. I don't know why I asked that. Wait. Yeah, it was a pretty fucking dumb question. So your your weapon now is wait are you wait 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 a second hold on I probably didn't piece this together. Are you are you applying the fucking griffin as your weapon? No, you told us we're level three now, so now I have a weapon. Oh okay. Uh, level three. <laughs> yes, we are level three. How'd you miss that? Yeah, I did. Okay. I didn't hear that. Grouchy. Dumbass. My regular weapon is a double-headed axe, but uh, once every single game, I always use my breath weapon. All right. NPC. This I feel like this question's really fucking aimed at you because every time we ask you to make an attack, you're confused. <laughs> I was about, I was about like, to go on like a twenty-minute rant about like I, my weapon is my stunning good looks and my quick tongue. It's because yeah, you try well, to bring back flex. No, I, I feel quick, like every your single quick session tongue you has gotten to... you. Your quick tongue has gotten you injured more than anyone else in this campaign, and I was the first person to take a hit that left me on one hit point. That is true. true, true. So what do you use, NPC? Explain it for the audience. What, what, what else more is there to explain? It's a chain sickle that's able to be used it's a as a melee a and, and a fucking range weapon, people. Yeah. And yep. somehow this man doesn't know the attack bonus on either side of it, so. <sighs> Say it right now. Say it right now without looking at your sheet. The attack Four, bonus? Three, two. Plus five ranged. Plus three melee. Okay. Now, but go ahead. Tell me, what, for, each, for each type range and melee, what, uh, what does it use? Hit die. What's your hit die? My hit die is a 1d8. You <laughs> fucked that up already. <laughs> <laughs> that was 1d4. Alright. Uh, 10 letters, we haven't got to the gun arc for you. No, what so you... I've been using, using a longbow. And I have two daggers and a sling. But so, it's the longbow. Oh, a that, sling. That, that's the weapons that these people have. Use is a weird word, but have. I literally can't fucking put up a fight up until now, so you can bite my ass. <laughs> what weapon do you have now? <laughs> magic. <laughs> he has magic. Yeah, the Taco doesn't understand just how fucking weird it's gonna get. I I, I, I welcome it. I welcome it. Good. Alright, this is sent in from Applesauce. Uh, since you guys established this world, uh, since you guys established this is a world you previously built, what characters are you most looking forward to meeting? Okay, so uh, obviously, if, if you guys aren't piecing here, he's talking cool. about how we built this in the drop-in sessions. He's, mm-hmm. it's, in it's, it's, that's such a fucking easy question. It's literally any player character that survived their arcs. Yeah. Literally any of them. I would agree with that. If you if you have All to pick one Jeff. player Except character. For Jeff. No Jeff. No <laughs> Jeff? I will make no sure Jeff. Jeff stays alive. I will fucking kill Jeff. <laughs> Before it is ever. It might be my last you dying eventually, act. You eventually have to make a character that does not hate Jeff. No, 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 no. Talk here, talk here. Here's what you do, right? You make, you make Jeff a legendary action. Like, you give him a legendary action and give him the wish spell and just say he uses wish to be fucking immortal. There you go. <laughs> Who knows? Jeff might already be immortal. Jeff could just, Jeff could just turn into a lich. Alright. Uh, Jeff the lich. NPC, legend. 10 letters. Uh, Fenderis, easily. Dub. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, it's like, I was gonna say, it's gay as fuck, but honestly, the fucking, uh, little dumbass, uh, half spider I've been playing is probably Thrax. the one I'm looking the most forward to. Not Thrax, no. Uh, oh, fuck. The one bit. I've been playing in our yeah, drop. Yeah, I can't recently. remember the name of it. Did you give it's it Dizzy. a name? Dizzy. Yeah, that's Dizzy, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Ten layers, what about you? What was the question? Do you have a character you're looking forward to meeting since this is a previously built world? Oh yeah, the fucking one-offs. 
Uh, no. <laughs> well, okay. you're lame. Okay. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> it's okay, Tid. It's the. It's fun. It, to be honest, okay. um, I haven't decided, and I'm just going to throw this out there. If I brought back Lil Nas X, would you guys be mad? Yeah, he's nah, fucking dead. I wouldn't be. Kill him on sight. Yeah, no, fuck him. I'm fucking just gonna I mean, kill him again. Taco, Taco, if you're thinking I, about I, it. No, 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 not just because you, you kill him again. I didn't say in that fashion. I don't know. I feel like we could, like, maybe turn His him. His name's Taco. been established, so he could be brought back at some capacity. How about, how about this? How I about mean, this? I feel like the fire but rings I'll, above the towns have I'll, something I'll to bring, do with I'll bring, I'll, I'll, I'll bring three people up, okay? And you guys tell me which character that, if I chose to bring them back, would you guys most welcome, okay? Senator Armstrong, uh, Cooch Bushy, or Cooch uh, Bushy! Lil Nas X. Cooch Bushy. None of, okay, here, Taco, I have an alternate suggestion. Sure. That fucking goblin that me and Jesse saved from the uh, interdimensional KFC that turned back into like an elf or something. Yeah. That one. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I, can't, yeah. I know what you fucking that remember back. that guy. Yeah, I know you what forgot. If- yeah, what about the goblins and shit we tried to save? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's the goblin we actually saved. Didn't you guys, like, yeah, the manager uh, got killed by that goblin. That goblin yeah, got Yeah, all out. of them are dead, except yeah. the one goblin woman that's I actually saved, an elf. I saved that goblin's life. That was an elf with a changeling that was disguised as an elf, so I think this could go somewhere. I forgot. Like, the whole thing was I put a curse on them to where... You guys... Do you remember you guys cut out a fucking chunk of their tongue? Because you yeah. tried making them talk about the KFC and their tongue sold up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. That was fun. Oh, God. I forgot. How... But, um, that was the second session, I think. That was how stupid that was. That, that, was, my, that was my first one. <laughs> yeah, that was my first one, and I remembered that, and I've been thinking about it ever since, and I was sitting there, and I've been waiting to bring it up since you've forgotten. You know me. If I don't write it down, I will forget. Mm-hmm. I have every single anyway, drop-in session memorized. Taco, wasn't Fandarius, like... Fucking, they're trying to murder a little Nas X too. Like you, you were playing Fandarius. You were playing him. That. Yeah, like he has fucking future sight. He'd know if Fandarius, like not Fandarius, if little Nas comes back, he'd probably go to try to murder him again. I don't know. Maybe that uh, those unrequited feelings that little Nas X had for Fandarius. You're you not know. gonna do this. What if you I do? Would. What if I make your old character lovers with Lil Nas X? What are you gonna fucking do? I have the. You power. know what I'm gonna do? You know what? what I'm gonna do? Quit. You know what I'm gonna do? Quit. <laughs> Lots of call. And that's all, all right. I can do. All right. Let's move on to the next question. Uh, this is sent in from Oscar K. Uh, <laughs> I forgot about this question. Why does it seem like ten letters is hated by the DM? <laughs> There's been multiple instances where you guys have straight up said it feels like you're, you're bullying dead letters. He's being bullied. He's literally, we're just letting him fall under the way, that crippling weight of him being fucking retarded. Ten letters do, does a lot of this to himself. I hate to say don't blame the victim, but blame the fucking victim here. I don't know. Wide open door in the middle of a. Sh- it a was bus- not door. wide yeah, open! open. You said it, it was wasn't open. wide open. Was. No, I didn't. literally go back and listen to it. I listened to everything after I posted. It, I listened to it again to see if I fucked up something. And you can hear every time you stumbled. Ooh. Yeah, I can. Stumble got sweep. No, but that that door was not open. In fact, I I, I recount it because Taylor was like, "Ten, don't do this. Don't do it. Ten. Ooh. Listen, I don't remember, but I have to. I, yeah, I have to watch. I have to watch it. Do. Watch it again. Of course, you don't remember. Like, hey, I, I did. I did like how like Gra- Grouchy at one point did say it was like it seems like you always put ten letters in this situation. Fucking defend this man. Well, oh. because, trying to put someone in a situation they're uncomfortable with is literally the whole point of D and D. It's to challenge your notion of thinking. Speaking Gosh, of notion, what? Sorry, I had to move. Uh, to, uh, the question was, why does it seem uh, seem like ten letters is hated by the DM? That's because that night you did pick on him. 
Every I, 30 seconds, you, you were like... Sound like ten of... Are you trying to get into his pants <laughs> now? Why are you dick sucking him so hard? <laughs> exactly oh what? my <laughs> god! I was hoping you that were going to be here so for this question. That was so original. <laughs> Good job, what do you? Donkle. What do you mean so original? I haven't made the dick sucking joke yet. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, but your fucking gay boyfriend did. And so <laughs> did NPC. Oh my god, I've already been through this. I'm only gay for you. So let's move on to the next question because uh, ten letter. The answer to that question is ten letters is awkward as hell. It's not that I pick on him; he just does it to himself. So, uh, Jewish people. This is <laughs> this isn't a drop in session. You're not supposed to talk about Jewish people like you usually do. <laughs> hey, fun fact! Next question: What's everybody's least favorite minority group? Stop! 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 I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Shut the fuck up, people. Shut up. White people, no, 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 white people be like, no, 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 no. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Tim. Who sent in that question, Taco? What? You better make up a fake name. Who sent in that question? Who sent up that? Um, um, Oscar Wiener. That doesn't exist. That was a cricket. Wait, are these not real questions? No, these are real questions. That that one. That one was just Asians. That one was just a like I I you think someone would actually say yeah. who's your hit, most hated minority group? I, somebody that watches this, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have I've done my best to make you guys seem as least <laughs> racist as possible. Okay, you just make sure almost every intro says, "God, I hate blue, fucking right? Jewish people." Thank That's God only in the drop been... in drop in sessions. You only say that there. Thank God I haven't been as racist. As yes, racist. All right, uh, next I've question. I've rationed it. This is sent in by Noob Cybot. Uh, do you guys have a queer made by the way? Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, I think I recognize that guy. Sounds like a. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, this fucking. God damn you. Yeah, fucking Noob Cybot's a motherfucker from Mortal Kombat. Fuck we him. know, yeah. dumbass. Yeah, nah, shit. It's, you want me to spell right it for you? You want me to spell it for you? You can look it up on Steam and see if you can find them. No, I already looked it up. Fuck you. No, it's N zero zero B S I A B zero T. He just replaced all the O's with zeros. Okay, we're cutting out him insulting him, right? No. I'm sure. I just doxed him. Go all ahead. right. All right. Do you guys actually plan on giving a woman slash Raz's wife to the goblins? Yes. 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 Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> We need her to make babies for the goblins so the goblins can be our fucking like, army. I this if I army. Did, wasn't going to do it. Out of curiosity, if you guys were presented with another female, not saying that I've already done this, would you guys reconsider Raz's wife? No. I need a hero. In fact, I'm I would even heroes. offer the suggestion, could we add her to the pot? So long that's, as it's not a female I've uh, as long as it's not a female I've claimed, yes, I'm using that word, I'm an incel. You have not uh, So the bartender, you, you can't use the bartender. Can't use her. That's it. That's the only bar <laughs> I have. Amen. I mean, hey, if, if you give me somebody else that I uh -huh. dislike more or would be more convenient to, uh, sure. Other than uh -huh. that, uh no, she's going to the chopping block. Just wait to the next session. I do actually have or another female. All of the fucking not, not, not spoiling it, but there is another female that will be uh, immediately introduced. Well, I am just going to go ahead and offer the suggestion that we throw her in the pot with Raz's wife. Well, no, there's well, no. Well, I'm going to tell you, Taco, that. is uh, Cuban Pete is a man of love. Well, we're, we're not, I was going to say, we're not going to let you do it, because last Dongle. time you immediately bawled, or bailed. Yeah, because Dongo was it. like, oh, don't go after them, don't go after them. And I was like, That fuck. was before, no, you went you after her before. Use it. We even told you not to. Yeah, because I was you still fucking not it. to. All right. Yeah, I told you not to, and then you tried it. <laughs> All right, next question. This is, <laughs> this is name I forgot. This is sent in by the blue haired girl. <laughs> okay, uh, you're already okay, in with a straight out. face. This is this is bad. This is sent in by that blue haired girl. Uh Grouchy Nuts, how does it feel being the only girl slash punching bag on the podcast? <laughs> the fucking punching bag. First off, NPC's the fucking punching bag. Sometimes ten letters. Shut the fuck bag. up. You, <laughs> you want me to activate Chris Brown mode? Definitely not. The fucking bring it, <laughs> bitch. I left this question in because I know exactly what this person is oh. referring to with is just the multitude of moments where they're like fucking women, <laughs> fucking women. <laughs> 
Because you guys, guys are funny. <laughs> you guys straight up do say fucking women so That's much. That's because it's funny. <laughs> First off, there's at least three of these people in this chat that has a bigger vagina than me. So I would... Dude, if you want to throw down, me and Dong are throwing down. Taco might join. If you see, you would like... not last. Just We're stand th- in your fucking corner. I would corner not last. And... No, you wouldn't. So, you wouldn't. so the oh, answer, really? I'm, answer I'm gathering from this is, sorry, but you don't need a virtue signal for her. She's got... Well, I, in, the fir- in the first... I guess in the first session, you were a little on edge, but that was... Due to other reasons, so true, 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 but true. No, I think Talk you've really gotten your bands. You're not the punching bag of the session, if anything. Ten letters is, but <gasps> yeah, I would agree with that. It's and to, yeah. the to to the part of like the only girl in the session, I you know what? I'll just put it this way: because our dad taught us best. If a girl is gonna put herself, wasn't in your dad a, a rapist? Man's... <laughs> 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 Put herself in a man's position. <laughs> she better be get. She better be ready to get knocked the fuck out like a man. And considering I'm my dad's best son, he has. I think I'd be pretty fucking well. <laughs> I always knew you had a dick. Thirteen <laughs> inches, baby. Let's go. All right. Oh uh-huh. yeah, but I bet it's shaped like a needle. Oh, oh, thin, oh, oh. short and thin <laughs> gets it in. Uh, no, long and thin gets it in. Short and fat's where it's at. Fuck yes. that. He told about, you. It's all about girth. Girth, buddy. All right. This is sent by Bradley B. This is the last question I have ain't right you, here. Ain't, ain't you Bradley B? I could go grab uh, some more. Yeah, go if grab some more. If you were going to make up names, okay, you should go better names how, than how this. Earlier, whenever I said very sexually advancing things to Grouchy, you said, oh, yeah, that reminds me of a question I got. You're this gonna, this you're is gonna that, question. that question. This okay. is that question. Uh, it was at the very bottom. Uh, it, we've been going for an hour and 19 minutes, though, guys. It'll be Are fine. You... Keep going. All right. Ask the question. We got, another, we got another like 30, 40 minutes. All right. This question is from Bradley B. Uh, he types in, are you guys going to have any romance slash love interests in this campaign? Uh, as a DM, I'm going to say this. I think ERP is so fucking yeah, stupid. It's but, it is but, so gay. But Tax since, you guys, breaks. since you guys are you know, giving women away to goblins... If you guys went that route, I wouldn't tell you no. Tax breaks. I mean, I thought I thought yeah, Donga like already Hawaii. had a like love interest. No, I do not have a love interest. I didn't with, with, with the bartender. No, I didn't have. I had an issue with that because you were trying to kill the chick who I had just taught to cook. I had used my time on that. I could have been out in the market square making food for people to get money. But y'all niggas are trying your absolute hardest to kill the hoe I built up. That ain't <laughs> happening. Dongle saying First he's off, gay. You gotta knock bitches down so they know where the fuck their place is. Listen, if you got a fetish for that, that's your thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, here, I got another question. Uh, they only had. They didn't put a name on this. They only have an email. I'm not reading the email out. <laughs> Please do. No, I'm not reading. We'll call Jay it. Gonzalez 2009 at oh, gmail.com oh, has asked. Larry and his parrot at Yahoo. We'll call this person Tater Tot because that's yes, as close sir. as I'll go. They call me Tater Salad. Um, no, guys, funny. The question is, do you guys feel... Oh, that's typed really bad. Hold on. Do you... You know, it's bad. I put a lot of these questions in a Word document and worded them so I could read them right. Um, because some of these were misspelled and very poorly grammar. I just feel like you're bullshitting us at this point. No. Just fucking, just go on. Do you guys feel that the DM is not so great for not sticking to the core rules of D&D? Okay, before I say anything, oh. I, already, I straight up said that first fucking session. I will for, or forgo hey. any rule to have fun. Okay? I'm not a bad DM. But, I mean, fuck it, that's, that's your guys' opinion. You're not bad. You're fucking horrible! Okay. So, you see, I would say my opinion on rules about D&D and what I think of them and all the wonderful uh, slurs and words I can use to describe the kind of people that like them. Uh, but then Taco would have to cut it all out. So, uh, <laughs> no, I don't care about I don't care about well, <laughs> God damn you! <laughs> <laughs> the, the problem so is you is, need to like the, implement like a really nice horn for that last part. Keep his whole sentence, but just be like, 
Put like some random ass fucking corn. Just like, go make the audio there. drop. I don't. I don't fucking put sensor button. Fuck you guys. I don't put no damn <laughs> sensor button. You ain't gaslight me into doing that. Well, well that's I don't know why what you're, you're half ass DM. The clip, Fuck you. the clip monkey sound <laughs> that goes like is fucking amazing. Actually, I For might do that. That actually sounds like great. To... That fucking sensor. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. We might actually start censoring with monkey sounds. Yeah, it's censor is with monkey sounds. I feel like that is really <laughs> funny. Oh, can you censor Jewish stuff with dreidels? <laughs> no, 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 what the like fuck does the sound of a dreidel <laughs> make? Censor it with a cash register sound. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. Awesome. All well, I'm going to say, say I think, I think me and you talk are probably the only people here who have who actually understand like most of the rule sets for D and D. If the core rules for Five E are fucking stupid, yeah. they are so dumb. Yeah. The core rules for 5e D&D &D standard are so goddamn stupid. I would much rather go back to 3.5e rules and just have to deal with how fucking clunky they are at times. That because actually I, that actually gives me a question I want to ask about that. Uh, you would you guys be opposed to going to D&D &D 6e because 6e I is absolutely about to come out? Wouldn't be opposed to yeah. It. I absolutely would. 5e is e more is fucking... fleshed out, and it's done. I haven't read anything of 6e. I don't know anything 6e. about 6e. Yet. 6e's got a lot of things they need to iron out first. For instance, completely killing all of the Dragonborn race. What? Yeah, no. You know, no, no, all... no. It took, no, took no, a second. No, it took a second. No, Three seconds. No. Of... How about how... Shh, shh, shh. all of Fizbin's dragon treasury and sorcery and all that? is completely wiped in 6e. All of that standard for dragonborns and all of the shit they could do is gone in 6e. They reverted it back to before that. The before time. For what reason? They could. Talk they again. also you, fucking you, changed yeah, how critical I, roles I and it. shit I'm work. Play yet. I'm recording. They Dude. changed how critical roles and shit work. They changed how rests and shit work. They changed how all this other horse shit work. And it didn't. Oh yeah, change they did anything. change how critting works. They they want to be Pathfinder too. That's all it is. <clears throat> but uh, all right, here's here's another question I got for you. This is from Nico Nee. Uh, yeah. Just say the question. Oh, yeah. Why? Uh. What inspired you? What inspired your characters? Re or real world personas so like what your actual character personas the first Didn't ones. we already do the interview that's that's why i say this kind of uh this is okay. a great and well thought out question here here's my answer to your question go back and go listen to the interviews there you go yeah, we, we, we did. did. Interview. Yeah, beat it, retard. That's what you okay. get. Okay, to, to reference what he's talking about, in the first episode, me and my, uh, one of my constituents that, actually, uh, Randy, or Ted from the popular podcast, Ted and Randy Show, uh, actually recorded um, the interview, like we're t reading your portfolios and stuff that you guys sent me, um, did it with reverb and all that to make it seem like it was a past thing. So yes, just go listen to the first episode. There's no reason that... Oh. Like, literally, just go listen to the interview. It, it answers that question for you. No. Well, I mean, it doesn't really answer it, though, does it? Unless it does. they were asking specifically, like, where, okay. like... Well, no, 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 restate the question. Just go ahead and say it again. Okay. What inspired your real-world personas of your characters? So, uh, like, Earth. Okay. Like, the people that were in the cell blocks. Like why well, we chose. Well, I understand. Yes. I understand why that. you chose that. What inspired you to choose that? Why that route? Yeah. That's NPC, what I'm getting from N this, at least. Yeah. So. Okay. I wish John wouldn't gay sir. Yeah. I was yeah. Say, you're like the least thought out, and you literally named yourself Chris Pratt. True. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You you did. I just said he looked like Chris Pratt. You said your Chris name Pratt, was Chris exactly. Pratt. Oh yeah, yeah I did do that. Yeah. Oops. And then you gave the oh, description man. of I'm the fat Chris Pratt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that be, was your whole description. To be, oh, now it's but, not fat. So. Paco, to be completely fair, NPC can't be trudged down on this because Grouchy literally did the same thing and just recreated a movie. Yeah, Grouchy just did. took the girl from us. I came up with grave. my own name, though. I came up with my own name. I, I didn't came fucking do. I'm gonna you, murder you. Know, you know what's me? the worst thing? You no, know it's the worst thing. You came up with your own name when I asked you to say your name because I couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> you, uh, uh, what's my name? Here's, but you see, here's the thing though, Grouchy. You came up with your own name, 
But me, ten, and Taylor came up with backstories too. That's the league difference here. Okay, You're so let me let me t- let me just more. tell you let me tell you what happened with my backstory of my character. Taco specifically told me I don't need a book from you. I just need you to give me a brief summary of your <laughs> character. Blah blah blah. Send it to me. So I decided to not listen at all, and I gave him an entire book of my character. And it was not the I spit on your grave girl. It was a legit French woman, serial killer. Like, it was a really awesome story. It was on Word document. It was like three pages long, all in detail. And when I went to send it to him, I went to copy and paste. And I deleted every fucking word of it. So, instead of retyping everything, because it took it literally took me hours to type it all out. It took you an I was hour? Actually, hours? hours because i was being creative like i went in fucking detail so i was like fuck this i'm done so i copied the entire script from i spit on your grave and just sent it to him dude i hit google maps twice and then came up with a bunch of horror shit that's how i made my backstory and i, I didn't literally know came what's funny brain. Gotcha. Like, i had a i had in detail from my brain a created fucking french woman babette led to and her her literal her <laughs> her name means like actual death that's the that's the English translation. Actual death. Holy it was shit, like a whole fucking thing. Holy shit. You shop at Hot Topic with that time, I, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. When Grouchy sent it to me immediately, I, I that was the first thing. I was like, this is like the most Hot Topic shit. And then I was like, wait, this is just I spit on your grave. Here is the line that made me go, this is cringe. I'm about to put it in, in Pong chat or Joe <laughs> chat. As I start to walk away, the crows begin to peck at Bud's skull, and soon Bud there won't be much of Bud left to peck. <laughs> parentheses, <laughs> ha 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 ha. Oh parentheses. <laughs> it was so fucking. I was like, "Why did you do this, woman?" Because <laughs> no. literally, I I, I spent. I want to say it was like two and a half hours on my actual backstory, but I deleted it. And I was so, nothing saved. I don't know how to recover that shit. I'm technology illiterate. And I was so, like, <laughs> fucking upset. I was so upset. You, you know that, you like, just hit the save button recharge. No, it was already deleted. You know that, like, you can hit the undo yeah, button. Yeah, right? you can hit the undo, undo button on hit Word. Hit the undo button. And probably save that. Yeah, I mean, you talk, uh, you like what to undo? Listen? Wait, what? <laughs> Control C. <laughs> you don't even have to hit Control C. There's literally a back arrow. No, hang on. Okay, I've got Word up right now. I don't see. Where's the fucking undo button? Where's the fuck? Where's the goddamn undo button? Uh, I got Word up too. It's at the very top beside the save icon. Hey, hit, the um, arrow wait, going to the left. No, 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 Grouchy, Grouchy. Hit Alt F4. Save is under file. Hit Alt F4. It's a quick key. No, no. What? You see Alt F4. No, stop. Don't hit all F4. <laughs> so, okay. type in type a bunch <laughs> of shit, Grouchy. Grouchy. Okay. Did you type hit all F4? Shit. No, I didn't hit all okay. F4. Okay. Fucking hit it. It's the so, undo. Type He's fucking in a bunch with of you. Shit. No, I did. highlight it all and erase it. Okay. Okay, beside the floppy disk above fly- file, there's an arrow pointing to the left. Above file, there's autosave. And it says off. Hit Alt F4. I'm telling you, okay, hit Alt hit F4. Hit Control Z. Just hit Control it's Z. It's Alt F4! Control, control Z. Z? Yeah. Hold Control, press Z. You have got to be fucking kidding me. I know that was like the most boring thing for our podcast, but we had to do that to show the intelligence oh, of like, our I want to cry! Do you know how many building. assignments I had to redo? Because Are you there's serious? a fucking... Un- hey! Hey! Did you know there's a fucking undo button on my computer? <laughs> <laughs> this is my fucking grandma. Hang on. Because need, need, no, because no, because this person watched me delete it. Where did, where are you at? Are you? I'm sorry, you're taking a shit. This, you're is, the, this is the people that are in charge of our health. Do <laughs> you remember when I wrote my backstory? Okay, and I deleted everything, and I looked at you, and I was like, I just deleted everything I just wrote for the last couple of hours. Okay. Did you know there was an undo button? <laughs> please say yes. Please say yes. Please say yes. These people. No, you didn't know there was a there was like an undo button, like a, a, a like a How back or a cover button. I'm gonna like say an arrow this. back. I'm not trying to put too much information. Okay, out. they did. They they also did not know there was an undo button. How? Didn't he? Know. He literally writes logs for his job. He knows. <laughs> he, knows he knows. He lied. Are you, <laughs> Are you lying? I didn't mean to out him like that, but just... <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> he knows. Like, I are you know lying? What he does. He just said that you write shit for your your logs and work, and that's all you do is Word and Excel. Did you know there was a back button? Fuck. <laughs> If he says that he knows there's a button in Excel for it, then he knows that yes. there's one in Word. There's no you way, bro. You watched me almost cry! <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it in Word and I was going to copy it to Discord! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> there's a fucking undo, but well, for, for everybody that's listening, there's a Fucking undo button on word. <laughs> or control Z. That's zebra. And There's with undo that, button on everything. With that, I, I think that was a great high note to end on. Uh, you bastard. I, I, I got one some more question. Stuff. One more question. Come on. You want one more question? Okay, hold on. Let me look through. Let me go fucking can't look. Even, asshole can't even round up. What, what, even, what question was on? I was past 10. You, you were on the person that asked about the backstories. How'd we pick our characters? Oh, uh, what I mean? Yeah, Jeffrey literally, Dahmer. Yeah, literally everyone but Grouchy and NPC wrote one. And then you know what the funniest part is that Grouchy could, says that she can prove it, but she can't anymore because she didn't know there was an undo button. Oh no! No, no. I didn't know there was an undo button. All right, oh no! One, no. one more question. One more question. This person writes, uh, Mac writes, oh, "What God. is your yeah?" <laughs> just Mac. He's. I'm not reading out his email. <laughs> I swear to God, Mac, if this is you. Uh, wait. Mac Miller. Do you know a Mac? Wait, so Mac Miller? Mac, going, is this Mac Miller? No, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Let's hear the question. So, what, is a, what is a spell or ability you're looking forward to using against the DM? Okay, this was not Mac's posting, because if this was Mac posting, he would have talked about shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Parentheses, what's your favorite type of poop? Okay, no, Mac. Okay. <laughs> it's not that Mac. I know. So yeah, what what's your favorite or ability or spell you guys are cooking up? I don't think you're really gonna say it because you fucking tell me outright. Oh no, Silver I can tell you. Oh no, I can tell you right the fuck now. When I'm how about playing. this? I... How about this? Uh, if you promise, I don't have to censor anything. I will take my headset off, let my wife listen to it, and I will I will put like an audio cue here to know to skip directly to the end. You know what I mean? That way you guys can say it without me even knowing. Oh, I don't give a shit if you know what I'm, I'm planning on doing. There's literally oh, okay. nothing you can do to stop okay. me. Okay, go ahead. I uh, fucking, yeah, I got... You see, as a part of the class of being uh, literally dedicated to healing, uh, so long as someone's within 30 feet of me, I can heal them. Just as if they were within 5 feet of me, it doesn't matter. And since I have spells on top of that, I can make someone a walking tank with literally 3 actions. And there is nothing you can do to stop it. There is absolutely nothing you can do to stop me. Alright, anybody else? I was told to, uh, by an IRL friend that silvery barbs can uh, really fuck someone over. So, <laughs> I think you use silvery barbs again. Yeah, I use silvery barbs a lot. You see, you use silvery barbs six times and he fucked up his spell slots. He's a dumbass. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, on that, I like DM'd Dongle and I was like, dude, I have like five spell slots. I think like something's fucked and yeah, then you were just like have... oh no you were only you're supposed to have like yeah no it's fine it's fine no 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 npc's already fucked up how he worded it npc asked dongle yeah it's five spell slots supposed to be normal when i was referring to spell slots i meant level one spells of that spell slot because you were supposed to have whenever you class in a bard you're supposed to have five level one spells so i figured he was referring to that hmm Hmm. What I was referring to was on the sheet, it directly calls it uh, spell slots and slots total. Slots total I had was yeah. five. I was talking was about slot three. level. What about the rest of you? Do you guys have a spell or ability you want to use? My gun. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Crouchy? A oh, spell? A Crouchy spell or remember ability. half the fighter archetype? A spell or ability you're looking forward to using? Oh, that I already have? No, well, that you're going to get, which you're uh, leveling. You've played oh. a level 20 character. You Surely you know. Um, I think Crash. it's the the hovering. The what? Oh, the, you the get floating. wings, don't you? Yeah, I get wings. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm excited to get wings. Dude, a lot of good it's going to do when you get shot in the wing and fucking fall <laughs> you know to what? the ground. You know what, Donald? You know what? That was another cool. thing. By the way, we forgot to talk about this with uh, Griffin. You're probably asking, well, why didn't it fly away? 
I allowed them to aim for the wings. I mean, that's just fair. They rolled at disadvantage, if I remember yeah. correctly. Shot the wing. Yeah. Rolled at disadvantage and 10 still hit fucking all t- the two of his shots he fired. Yeah. What about you, uh, Taylor? Uh, fucking... Uh, there's nothing really too interesting about Barbarian or the Berserker subclass other than just frightening well, people, running them down, and beating the shit out of them. I, I was going to throw this out there because I, I always forget you're a Barbarian, and uh, the fact that you're able to duck people... Have you ever thought about doing like um I think it's called spiritual guardian? It basically if anybody gets within five feet of you, you deal one d ten damage to them every movement turn whatever. As like that technically count with you pulling them in the pot. So I mean, I thought about it, but like that's so niche and rely. It, it, it's only like one target. It was either that or Berserker. No, no, Spiritual wait, wait, wait. Guardians, does anyone it, that work, gets within. Does it work with every tile moved? Like every five feet moved? Yeah. Okay, what he's saying is, can you still move while you have someone in the pot? Yes. Yeah. It's a pot. Can. So yeah. you can just like waddle 35 feet and they'll take... Oh my god. Yeah, what the spiritual, fuck? Spiritual Guardian, I, it's, it's a pretty high level... Like, But you have to go that archetype of Barbarian. I don't even know what archetype you're going for Barbarians of. I was thinking about doing Berserker, but I haven't really decided yet. Gotcha. Um, you know, probably just Ancestral Incest Guardian or Berserker. Gotcha. All right. Well, I uh, yep. Incest Guardian Guard. One more question. One more question. Go, go, on, we man. have time. We have time. <laughs> what do you mean we have? Yeah, time? I'm about. I'm about to get off here. So. No. Uh. Uh-uh, uh. Nah, you got one more. So All right. One okay, more question. The last one. Last more. question. Last question. All right. Hold on. Let me. This one. All right. This let's let's from... fake make up a question real no, quick. No, this is coming from the Jim comment Bob section. name. This is coming from the comment session. Hey, Jim Bob, you forget your on... your name is literally <laughs> Grouchy Nuts. It's fucking original, bro. Shut a lot the of these off. are original. <laughs> okay. Anyways, this is from Cod Fan. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is from Cod Fan. What do you? Th- who do you think is going to be the big bad? Uh, BBEG, big bad in game boss, basically. Uh... <laughs> it's probably just going to end up being Garzara with the way it's going. The French. I can probably see that. fucking Napoleon. Or we're we're going to have to fight Robo Prez Napoleon or some shit. No I joke. Know. I've kicked around the idea of Napoleon when I yeah. originally came up with this idea. Yeah, I Napoleon know. was already the bad guy. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I know a couple, but. Fucking Napoleon Dynamite asshole. I, I straight up I kicked around that idea too. No, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Gosh, you guys are trying to steal my village. Just want to right? fucking end him. I just want to conquer this realm. Jeez. You're going to do like... You're going to do like a... What is it? You're going to pull like a Dr. Uh, Nagasawa from fucking Borderlands 2, right? Where the big bad's just going to be some like fucking nerd. <laughs> yeah, he He's going to be some like stairs. fucking nerd. He falls down the stairs. <laughs> All right. Well, boys and girls, fellows and chaps, I appreciate you guys tuning in to... What I like to call Pog Talk. I'm pretty sure that's already been coined, so I can't like trademark that at all. But all right, yeah, thank you for tuning in to our half hours at least thrown together Q and A session, and I keep sending your questions in because I've I don't know, fuck, I actually enjoyed that a lot more than I thought I would. So, um, but yeah, I'm maybe... sending all of the stupid, just absolutely dumb questions ever it doesn't matter what it's for so long as it's tangentially related to the sessions it doesn't matter Fuck make it even Tom unrelated says. no and, no keep it slightly related and, and throw it out there throw it out there i do check all of the comments you don't have he does to email do it. he has a lot of free time on his hand you do not have to well no i have a lot of noti- notifications set you don't have yeah. to email me i'm not calling yeah. you two out by name but you don't have to call, email me. Pretty please fucking stop emailing Joseph me. Fucking Yosef Gonzalez, 2009. So basically what he's saying is blow his fucking email up. Um, Dude, whatever, all he's saying is his email is out there. Uh, any site you want to sign him up for, he can't physically cannot stop you. you Do it. it. Do it. Sign him up for stuff. For 
I'm so you know what? Ask Blake, please. I'm, I'm, I'm not even. Too. I'm not even like. I'm not even scared. I'll throw the fucking email out right now. If you want to contact me with questions via email, you like can. Email you can email. add my email at. I, I want you to know, up. when you respond with a fucking picture of you holding up three fingers in front of me, so I'll believe you. <laughs> Do it right now. Do it right now. I want you I'm to know, that email uh, anyway. <laughs> actually, uh, anyone who's listening, uh, sign them up for Quora. They send emails, like, by the minute. <laughs> Who? You know that from personal I have. Uh, yeah, I signed up for it on, like, an alt account, and that alt account is just filled with, like, help! I'm being chased by my, like, Boyfriend, and I think he's starting to kill me. Is All this right, a sign already, that he's like get enough that, I already got a ton of those on that email, and the other emails I have. Uh, I could hold on. Let me go read one right fucking now. Uh, the top one that they last shit sent was Andrew Tate admits he was wrong. Shock emoji. <laughs> shock emoji. Shock emoji. A bouncer at a bar cut up my ID, claiming it was fake, and it wasn't. When I am twenty three, you know what, what are my I'm... options? To, to end this on, you know, I'm going to coin this. This is going to be a trademark. We'll do this at the end of every session now. Uh, throwing out to our our top YouTube comment of the week by Bennett. Wow, yet another banger of a video. Thank you, Corlock. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Well, thank you guys for listening to this episode. And again, I, I deeply apologize. I really dropped the ball. I just hit numpad six and OBS shut off. But if you guys did enjoy what we did to kind of beef the episode out, leave a like, comment, subscribe, or follow on whatever platform you're watching or listening on. Um, we'll keep pumping these out. And I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning skit. A couple of my friends helped me put it together. Just to give more context to something Garzara said about Ricky and his family last episode um if you enjoyed it um hit me with a comment saying that keep doing those skits if you don't like it i'm look forward to your feedback I, in fact i'll cut them down i know it's kind of long and a little beefy but i need to encapsulate everything or i try to encapsulate everything but well i'll see you guys in the next episode